Today's adventure starts at Mrs. Witch's house. The Witch Competition. Thank you for helping tidy my house, Nanny Plum. No problem, Mrs. Witch. My goodness, what a lot of cobwebs. Let's magic them away. Oh, me. I don't know what I'd do without you, Nanny. But, Mrs. Witch, why can't you just use your own magic to tidy your house? The thing is, I don't do much magic these days. I'm retired. Meow. Still got your mangy old cat, I see. Don't be rude about Moggy. I say cat, but it's just a bag of fleas, really. Leave him alone. I'm warning you. And he's smelly. <laughs> <gasps> Mrs. Witch, you've turned Nanny to stone. So you can do magic. Only if I'm cross. Nanny was being very rude about my cat. Can you turn Nanny back? If she says sorry. Sorry. And say mm. sorry to Moggy. Sorry, Moggy. <laughs> Oof. I forgot she's so touchy about her cat. Hello, are you Mrs. Witch? That's me. I'm Wendy Witch. Hello, Wendy Witch. I'm so excited to be standing here with you. You're famous. Am I? I was brought up on stories of you doing the fastest spells in the West. That was all a long time ago. I'm retired now. And what a lovely witchy house. I can't believe I'll be living here. Uh, what was that? I'll be living in your house. But there's only room in this house for one witch. Yes. Now you're retired, you'll be going to the old witch's home. You'll be very happy there. It's full of other old witches watching telly all day. Uh, you know, when I said I was retired, I meant I'm not retired. Goodbye. <laughs> that was close. Um, sorry to bother you again, but since there's only room for one witch around here, we'll have a witch competition. The winner stays, the loser goes. Oh, yes, of course. A witch competition needs a judge. Someone important. Uh, my daddy is a king. Is that important enough? A king will do nicely. Let's go and meet this daddy of yours. Hello, Your Majesty. Ah! I'm Wendy Witch. Oh, hello, Wendy Witch. We're having a witch competition and we need someone important and wise to be the judge. That'll be me. I'm very important and wise. If Mrs Witch loses, she'll have to leave her house. Daddy, you have to make sure Mrs Witch wins. I'm sorry, Holly, but I'm the judge and I have to be fair and above board. I suppose there's a first time for everything. When does the competition start? At high noon. I haven't got a chance against Wendy Witch. I haven't been in a witch competition for years. What happens in a witch competition? There's a spell contest, broomstick riding and jam making. Well, your jam smells quite nice. See, I've lost my touch. Which jam is supposed to be horrible? Don't worry, we'll help you make it horrible. <laughs> what if you put in some snail slime? Snail slime? Yes, that could do it. And some worm poo? Yes, that would make it taste awful. You see, you can win. Now let's tackle the broomstick riding. I haven't ridden my broom in years. It's forgotten all its training. <laughs> here, boy. Good broom. Oh, come here, you silly old stick. <laughs> oh, dear. Let's try spells. Mrs Witch, you did the fastest spells in the West. Right, Mrs Witch. Turn these cans into frogs. <laughs> I'm trying. But I can't do it. I'm afraid she's past it. Past it? She can't even turn a can into a frog. She might have been good at magic once, but now she's a bit of a has-been. Has-been? I'll show you. <gasps> Mrs Witch, you turned Nanny into a frog. That's because 
Nana's nanny got me annoyed. <laughs> Oof! If you can do magic like that in the competition, you'll be fine. So just remember to get cross with Wendy Witch. But she's so friendly and nice. It's your only chance to win. OK, I'll try to be cross. It's high noon. Let the witch competition begin. First, jam making. Why are they all staring at me? You're the judge, darling. They're waiting for you to taste the witch's jam. Oh, what's in it? Slug, mostly, with a hint of bat and spider eggs for crunch. Ew! That's the most disgusting thing I've ever ever tasted. Thank you. No, my jam, Your Majesty. Yes. Um, why should I have all the fun? Isn't it someone else's go? Daddy, you're the judge, so you must taste both jams. Of course I must. Lucky me. Oh, they both taste equally revolting. So, the jam making is a draw. Hooray! And now, Broomstick flying! Yeehaw! That was really good! Ooh. Now it's Mrs. Witch's turn! <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Right! She's held on! Yeehaw! She's riding the broom brilliantly! Declare the broomstick riding a draw. Now for the spell contest. Mrs. Witch, where are you going? To the old witch's home. I can't win a spell contest. Yes, you can. You turned Nanny to stone. And you turned her into a frog. Well, Nanny Plum makes me so cross. Just remember to be cross with Wendy Witch. But she's so polite and charming. She wants to put you in the old witch's home. And live in your house. You're right. Remember I'm cross. Remember I'm cross. Let the, Let spells, the spells begin. begin. The, witch yeah, the witch that turns, that turns the, the other, other to, to stone, stone is the is winner. The winner. <laughs> remember I'm cross. Remember, I'm cross. Mrs. Witch, it's been such a thrill to be in a competition with you. Remember, I'm... Oh, thank you, dear. You're so nice. <gasps> She's turned Mrs. Witch to stone. That's it. I've won. I'll be the Little Kingdom's witch. I'll really enjoy working with you, King Thistle. Uh, working with me? Oh, yes. I've got big plans for the Little Kingdom. Oh, dear. She sounds like a bit of a bossy boots. Meow. And Mrs Witch's mangy old cat will have to go. Did you see Mrs Witch move? She can't move. She's been turned to stone. He really is a flea-bitten old thing. He smells awful. I'm really cross. You leave my moggy alone. Wow, Mrs. Witch turned the other witch to stone. So, I suppose Mrs. Witch is the winner. Yay! We knew you could do it. Uh, shouldn't you turn Wendy Witch back now? She was very rude about my Moggy. But if she says sorry... Sorry. And sorry to Moggy. Sorry, Moggy. <sighs> Thanks. You're just amazing, Mrs Witch. I've never seen anyone break out of a stone spell before. And you're a very polite and clever young witch, mostly. Well, as they say, this town ain't big enough for the both of us. So I'll be moving along. Bye! I'm glad Mrs Witch won. The Little Kingdom wouldn't be the same without Mrs Witch. Yes. Mind you, Wendy Witch did have a point about the cat. It does rather smell and it's... What was that? It, uh, is a most lovely pussycat. Thank you, King Thistle. I do love my Moggy. Meow. 
everyone. Hi, Ben. I'm not Ben. Yes, you are. Ben is my usual name. But when I put on my superhero costume, I become Elfman. What does Elf Boy do? Elfman. He can run and jump and fly. That's not flying. This is flying. Uh, but I can fly in the Elfmobile. <coughs> but that's just Gaston. No, it's the Elfmobile. <coughs> the Elfmobile can go on land, sea or air. Ooh. We can be superheroes too. Yes. yes. I'll be Fairy Girl. the strongest boy in the world. And we can all do nice things and help people. Hang on. We can't all be goodies. Someone has to be the baddie. The what? You know, a supervillain. Can I be the supervillain? OK, Strawberry. Do I help people too? No. You have to try and take over the world. The whole world? Well, maybe we should just start with the Little Kingdom and I'll try and stop you. OK. I will be the Ice Queen. <laughs> Strawberry Ice Queen. <laughs> Strawberry Ice Cream? Ice Queen, not cream. Oh. Super villains always have a gang. We'll be the gang. So, it will be Elf Man and Fairy Girl against Strawberry Ice Queen and her gang. <laughs> the goodies will win. The baddies will win. No, the goodies will win. To the Elfmobile. Come on, Fairy Girl. Do your worst, Ice Queen. OK, Fairy Girl. Bye. I'm the Ice Queen, so maybe I should make it a bit cold. <laughs> It's chilly! Yes, that's because I'm the Ice Queen. Sorry. My goodness, it's cold! Yes, and in the middle of summer. Very odd. Very odd indeed. Brr, it's gone all cold! I bet the Ice Queen has something to do with that. Yes, let's go to the Elf Cave. This is just Gaston's house. Well, today, it's the Elf Cave. Here's the Elf Computer. I invented it myself. But it's a cardboard box. Ah, as I thought. Strawberry Ice Queen has made it cold on purpose. But how do you know that? There's nothing on the screen. <sighs> it's pretend, remember, Holly? Oh, yes. The computer doesn't really work. That would be crazy. Whoa! <laughs> it's me, the Ice Queen. How are you, Elf Boy? Elf Man. And how did you do that? This computer's just a cardboard box. I can do anything. I'm the one who made it cold. Ha! I wouldn't say it's that cold. No. We're not even wearing gloves. Ha! Oh, yes? I can make it colder, if you like. Do your worst. You'll never stop Elf Man and Fairy Girl. We'll see about that. Mwahaha! <laughs> ben! Lunch time! Oh, I've got to go. I'm having pizza for lunch. Pizza? Can we all come too? Can we? Please! OK, you can all come for pizza. There you are. I was getting worried, what with this mad weather. Mum, my friends have come for lunch too. Is that OK? Yes, of course. We're superheroes. And super villains. <laughs> That's nice. Who wants pizza? Yes, please. <laughs> <laughs> we can't stop long. I've got to take over the world. And Ben and I have to save the world. Oh, good. So you'll need to keep your strength up then. Hmm. What's the best way of taking over the world? You are the Ice Queen. You could make it snow. Yes, maybe I will. Thanks, Fairy Girl. Come on, let's get on with the game. We're off to our secret hideout. Us too. Bye. 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 OK, I'm going to make it snow. Snow, 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 snow. <laughs> snow now as well in July. 
Why? Oh, this is ridiculous. Why is old elf? Why is old elf? There's something you have to see. Eh? What's that? Come with me. I'll show you. Is it much further? I'm freezing. We're here. Look. What on earth? Where are we? The very edge of the little kingdom. And the snow stops here. Snow? No snow. Snow? No snow. Snow? Yes, thank you, Mrs Elf. We get the idea. No snow. But what is causing this strange snow? It's magic. Magic. And I'll bet my beard that Nanny Palum has done it. Dee dee da dum dee dum dee do dee dee da dum. Nanny dee, dum, Palum, dee, dee, whatever you're doing, stop it. What? The washing? No, the snow. It's not my fault. Oh come on, Nanny, it's always your fault. No, it's normally my fault, but not today. Then who on earth is doing it? Maybe it's a supervillain. Oh, don't be ridiculous, Nanny Plum. Why is that ridiculous? Because super villains don't exist. What about superheroes? They don't exist either. It's a lot of nonsense. Then what's that? It's a superhero symbol in the sky. Oh, let's find out where it's coming from. Now, when the people of the world need help, they'll know where to find the elf cave. Really? Will people really ask us for help? Well, no. It's just a game. No one is actually going to knock on the door. Huh? Hello? Is anyone there? That's my dad. Anyone home? Isn't this where Gaston lives? Maybe a superhero lives here too. That's the silliest thing I've heard in all my life. Hello, this is Elfman and Fairy Girl. We are superheroes. See, told you. Elfman? Who's Elfman? Can we come in? No, our secret identities have to remain a, a secret. Can you help us? The whole of the little kingdom is covered in snow. Yes, that's the work of the Ice Queen. She is a supervillain. You see, a supervillain. All right, all right. Leave your problem with Elfman and Fairy Girl. We'll take care of it. Thank you, Elf Boy. Ah, oh, Elf Man! We have to find Strawberry's secret hideout and tell her to stop the snow. <laughs> The whole of the little kingdom is freezing cold. Even in here? Yes. My bottom is getting cold sitting on the ice throne. Couldn't you be the Sunshine Queen instead? It's too late now. I'm Strawberry Ice Queen. <laughs> Strawberry's hideout must be around here somewhere. We need to look out for a sort of place that a supervillain Ice Queen might live in. Uh, like that? Giant palace of ice. This is better than the elf cave any day. No, it's not. It's just showing off. <laughs> not so fast, Strawberry Ice Queen. What brings you here, elf boy? Elf man! I've come to stop you. But you can't stop me. I'm the Ice Queen. <laughs> Strawberry, the grown-ups are a bit cross about all the freezing snow. Oops, are they? Yes. yes. Are we in trouble? I don't think we're in trouble, as long as the game is over. OK. Do I win? No, the goodies win. That's not fair. You're stuck in the ice. Oh, OK, you win. Hooray! Finally, I can get rid of the ice throne. My bottom is freezing. Oh, good! The sun is out! The little kingdom is saved. All thanks to Elf Man and Fairy Girl. If only we knew their secret identities. But we never will. <laughs> <laughs> Good boy, Gaston.
Gaston. <laughs> Gaston loves his tummy being tickled. <laughs> Gaston is the best pet in the world ever. OK, girls, playtime is over. Time for your magic lesson. Aw, do we have to? Yes, Strawberry. Now, who can show me some magic? Um, I can make an egg appear. Eggs can be quite tricky, but have a go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, stinky! Hmm, uh. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like you've magicked up a dragon's egg. Nanny Plum! Oh, that's the king. What does he want? Nanny Plum! I can't find my crown! Have you tried looking on your head? Oh, yes. Now, where's my wand? Nanny! Oh, I'll have to go. <gasps> the dragon's egg is hatching. My dad says dragons are dangerous wild animals. And they breathe fire. Oh, I'm scared. Let's run away. <laughs> oh, isn't it cute? Hello. Oh, it's so sweet. Gaston, be nice to the baby dragon. Bad ladybird. What shall we call it? How about cuddles? No, he should be called Fang. Yeah, Fang. I like Snuggle Bunny. Fire Claw. What about? Dave! Dave the Dragon! Yay! Dave, that's your new name. <laughs> Dave has got really big paws. That shows he'll grow much bigger. <coughs> what do you want, Gaston? <laughs> oh, all right. Fetch the stick. <laughs> Dave. <laughs> he wants his tummy tickled. Aww. How cute. <laughs> Dave's the best pet in the world ever. <laughs> Where's Gaston gone? Oh, I don't know. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. We've got Dave. Princess Holly! Home time! Oh, I've got to go now. Bye! <laughs> Holly, the dragon's following you. No, Dave. You have to go home now. But where is his home? You magicked him up. I guess he hasn't got one. <laughs> Never mind. He can come home with me. <laughs> dee dee da dum dee dum dee do. Dee dee da dum. Nanny. Hello, you two. Ah! A baby dragon. His name's Dave. He's going to live here. I'm sorry, Holly. There's no way the king's going to let you keep a dragon. Oh, look! A baby dragon. Ah, isn't he cute? Can we keep him? Of course. Why ever not? On second thoughts, get that dragon out of here! Aww. Dave can live in my house. I'm sure my parents won't mind. Good. That's sorted. Come on, Dave. Ben, are you sure your parents won't mind? They'll be fine. But maybe Dave should stay out of sight at first. All right. Dave, stay. Good boy. Dad, remember you said I could have a pet in my room one day? Yes. Maybe it is time you had a pet of your own. Something small to start with. What about an ant? Or a goldfish? Yes. Or what about a... Dragon! Dragon alarm! Fire-breathing dragon! Dragon alarm! Save the elf tree! Sorry, Ben. We must all help. The elf tree's in danger! Dragons breathe fire! Phew! Looks like everything is under control. Anyway, back to your pet, Ben. What was it you wanted? Uh, it was the dragon. <gasps> you can't have a dragon in your room. He could burn the house down. It's the most dangerous pet you could have in a tree. 
Apart from Woodworm. It's OK, everyone. My son is taking the dragon away. <laughs> Where can Dave live? How about Gaston's house? Yes, it'll be nice for Gaston to have a friend to stay. <laughs> Hi, Gaston. We've got a visitor for you. <laughs> Look, he's drinking Gaston's water. He's sleeping in Gaston's bed. He's making himself at home. Ben, you don't think Gaston minds sharing his home, do you? No, I think he's pleased to have a new friend. Look, Dave got bigger. Oh. We'd better get him out of here while we still can. Hush! I see the baby dragon is getting bigger. Yes, Nanny. And it's impossible to find anywhere for him to live. Hmm. He needs to go home. But where is his home? Dragonland, of course. Mind you, it's a long, long way away. My dad can fly us there in the elf plane. He'll be happy to take us. What? Take a fire-breathing dragon on an aeroplane? Never! The dragon's back! Sound the alarm! Get that dragon out of here! <sighs> All right, then. Load the dragon. Ready for takeoff. Who's the dragon? Not breathing any fire, is it? Dave's not silly, Mr Elf. He knows not to do it in a plane. Everything OK back there? Uh, yes, Dad. Don't do it again, Dave. <laughs> Nanny Plum, where is Dragonland? Dragonland isn't marked on any maps. It's the only place the dragons can get some peace and quiet nowadays. Here we are. Dragonland. I'll open the back of the plane. <laughs> Get ready to chuck him out. Chuck him out? Dad? He can fly, can't he? Oh, all right, I'll land. But we mustn't stay long. It's so hot here. And everything's burnt. Yes, Dave feels right at home. Marvellous. Uh... Let's get going, then, shall we? Nanny, how big is a grown-up dragon? Think of the biggest thing that you can think of. And it's bigger than that. Bigger than a horse? Much bigger. Bigger than an elephant? Yeah, you're getting there. Wow! A grown-up dragon is ginormous! Right, then. Home time. But we haven't said goodbye to Dave. OK, quickly. Goodbye, Dave. This is where you belong. This is your home. <coughs> Don't worry, Gaston. Maybe Dave can come and visit you. <coughs> wow! More dragons! Lovely. Well, maybe we should be thinking about leaving. Can't we stay a bit longer? No. Run! Bye-bye, Dave. Dave. Fast seatbelts and off we go! Whoa, looks like we got away with that one. <gasps> nice dragon. Don't breathe fire now. Don't breathe fire. Nice dragon. Whoa! Whew, it's a bit warm in here. Let's open the door and get some fresh air. Gaston wants to play. Here, boy, fetch the stick. Oh, the back door is open. <laughs> Hooray! <laughs> Gaston's the best pet in the world ever. <laughs> I knew this shortcut through the meadow wasn't a good idea. You'll be late for school, Lucy. <laughs> But I love going this way. We might meet my little elf and fairy friends again. Lucy, the other day, when we thought we saw elves and fairies, 
It was a very hot day, and I'm afraid we let our imaginations run away with us. There really aren't any such things as fairies and elves. Good morning, Lucy's dad. Ah, uh, good morning, little elf. Hi, Lucy. Hi, Ben and Holly. Come on, Lucy. You'll be late for school. Uh, bye, little people. I'm going to school. It's nature day. Can we come? It'd be a brilliant adventure. Yes. No, no. I forbid it. Remember, we mustn't be seen by big people. But I've seen you, and so has my dad. But you're nice. It's just other big people we can't trust. Oh, don't worry. I'll go with them and we'll keep well hidden. Hooray! OK, but if you do get seen, pretend to be a toy, like this. I'm a toy. Yes, yes, whatever. Come on, Lucy. Say goodbye to your, um, little friends. Yes, Daddy! Quick, into my pocket. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, Lucy. Pick you up later. This is my school. Wow! So many big children. Stay hidden. We mustn't be seen. Good morning, children. Good, Good morning, morning, Miss Cookie. Cookie. Today we are learning about wonderful things in nature, like Fluffy, our hamster. Who knows what kind of animal Fluffy is? A hamster? Yes, but what sort of animal is a hamster? Oh, he's a mammal. Is he a mammal? Yes. Well done, Lucy. Its proper name is Mesocriquetus auratus. Its proper name is Mesocriquetus auratus. Goodness. I think we'll just stick with Fluffy. <laughs> oh, no! Gaston smelt the bananas. He likes bananas. Gaston, here, boy. Stop! Come back. Nature is all around us. Like this pretty little insect. Does anyone know what she's called? Gaston, and he's a boy. <laughs> Very funny, Lucy. Is it a ladybird? Yes, or well, you could call her a ladybug. And what does she eat? Gaston likes pies. And spaghetti bolognese. Pies and spaghetti bolognese. <laughs> <laughs> no, ladybirds eat things like green flies. Let's keep the ladybird in this jar. Oh, no! Gaston's trapped. We'll let her go later. I hope Gaston will be all right. Don't worry. I'll get him out of the jar. But you'll be seen. It's all right, Ben. I'll be very careful. Miss Cookie, there's a fairy walking across my desk. A fairy? Let's have a look. Nanny, the teacher's coming. Pretend to be a toy. Oh, yes, I'm a toy. Oh, a little fairy godmother. Whose toy is this? Um, it's mine. Do you remember what our rule is? No, no toys in class. class. That's right. I'll pop the dolly in my drawer and you can have it back at the end of the lesson, all right? Yes, Miss Cookie. But, Miss Cookie, it was a real fairy. Thank you, Katie. Let's carry on, shall we? Ooh, what's this? She's got Nanny's wand. <laughs> it's sparkly. <laughs> that girl doesn't know she's doing magic. Miss Cookie, there's a frog on my desk. Oh, what? Oh, where did he spring from? Well, well, can anyone tell me what kind of animal a frog is? <laughs> wow. It's a kitten. It's not a kitten. Oh, my goodness. It is a kitten. We have to stop her. I'll do a spell to lift the wand out of her hand. Uh, Zooby Zooby's air float in the air. Oh, dear. I didn't mean to lift her as well. Miss Cookie, Katie's out of her seat. Sit down, please, Katie. <laughs> Good. She's dropped the wand. I'll go and get it. Wait for me. Miss Cookie, there's an elf and a fairy walking across my desk. Quick, pretend to be toys. What a pretty fairy doll. And a handsome elf. Are they yours as well, Lucy? Yes, Miss Cookie. I think I'll put these toys in the drawer as well. 
What are you two doing here? We tried to get your wand, but a boy saw us. Did you pretend to be toys? Yes, yes Nanny. Nanny. Good. Well, I think we've been very clever so far. No one knows we're not toys. But we shut in the teacher's drawer. And we haven't got our wands. Yes. I think we'll have to call for a little help. Elf Rescue. Hello. Well, if it isn't Nanny Plum, let me guess. The big children have seen you, you've lost your wand, and you've been locked in a cupboard. No, you've got it all wrong. We've been locked in a drawer. Oh, all right. I suppose I'd better rescue you. Elf Helicopter is go. I'm on my way. Sit tight and don't do any magic. He's on his way. Lucy! Psst, Lucy! Oh, hello, wise old elf. Are you here to rescue Ben and Holly? Yes. Watch an elf ninja at work. Oh, bother! Miss Cookie, there's an elf on a string. Oh, this is an odd-looking doll. Yours as well, Lucy. Uh, yes, Miss Cookie. I'll put this funny-looking goblin in the drawer with the rest of the toys. Funny-looking goblin? Funny goblin? Ah, it's the wise old elf, here to rescue us. Yay! Uh, yes. Hello. I never thought I'd be so glad to see you. What's the rescue plan? Uh, Will you make a hole in the drawer with a special elf rescue drill? Uh, no. Getting locked in the drawer was not part of my plan. It wasn't? No. It's all right. Lucy's teacher will let us out at the end of the lesson. Home time, children. Oh, oh Lucy, let me give you your toys back. I said it was risky, but oh no, you don't listen. Oh, it's all right. They all think we're toys. Uh, guys! <gasps> oh, I must have imagined it. Right, um, here are your toys back, Lucy. The pretty fairy, the handsome elf, the fairy godmother and the strange old goblin. Madam, for your information, I am not a goblin. I'm an elf. <laughs> oh, well done, wise old elf. So much for not being seen by big people. Now Miss Cookie knows about us. Don't worry, I'll sort it out. Hello, Miss Cookie. You must promise not to tell any of your friends that you've been seeing elves and fairies. No, I promise I won't tell anyone, any of my friends, that I've been seeing elves and fairies. Thank you so much. Bye! Can I have my ladybird back? Your ladybird? OK. Well, well. By the way, he's a boy and he loves spaghetti bolognese. Don't you, Gaston? Well, well. Bye! Now I've seen everything. Cheerio! Hi, Dad. Hi, Lucy. Good day. <laughs> Great. So what did you do at school today? Uh, well... Bye, Lucy. Can we have our wands back? Of course. See you again soon. Cheerio, Lucy's dad. Uh... Cheerio. You'll never in a million years guess what I saw today. An elf in a helicopter? Don't tell me. You've seen them too? Um, yes. Maybe we should just keep this between ourselves, eh? Yeah. Good idea. I think we got away with that. Only a couple of people saw us. Lucy. And her dad. And all her friends. And her teacher, thanks to the wise old elf. Yes. Maybe we should just keep this between ourselves. Mm, yes. What's it worth? Food delivery! Oh, hello, Mr Elf. Lovely day. It certainly is. Hi, Holly. Hi, Ben. Come up. Mr Elf is kind delivering our food. Yes. Where would we be without elves? 
No idea, Your Majesty. Cheerio, Mr Elf. Um, uh... Is there something else? No. Well, yes. I was just wondering if you could pay us today. Pay you? Yes. You haven't paid us any money for ages. Oh, right. How much do we owe you? Um, 492 gold coins. Gosh, that's a lot. Don't worry, Ben. We'll just get some money, won't we, Nanny? Money doesn't grow on trees, Holly. No? No! It grows in the magic money chest. Oh, there's only one coin in it. One coin is all we need. I throw it into the magic money chest. <laughs> it sounds like popcorn. Don't lift the lid up until it stops. It's full of gold coins. Wow, can I have a go? All right, I'll just empty the chest. Now, Ben, throw the coin in. But I haven't got a coin. You made them all disappear. Oh. Without a coin, we can't make money. Um, I've got a button. Perhaps that will work. <laughs> it's doing its popcorn thing. Oh, it's full of buttons. Nanny, can you buy things with buttons? Mr Elf, would it be OK to pay you in buttons? Uh, no. The magic money chest broken? Yes, Your Majesty. For some reason, it's just making buttons. And we need to pay Mr Elf. Don't worry, Holly. I'll sort this out. Ah, this is embarrassing. But the thing is, we're a bit short of money today. No reason to be embarrassed, Your Majesty. No reason at all. Sorry and all that. No, no. Please don't give it another thought. Good. When you get some money, let me know. And I'll bring the food right back. Bye. Oh, bye. I've good news and bad news. What's the bad news? The bad news is there is no good news. Mr Elf's taken breakfast away. And all because we don't have any silly money. What's money for? I'm not really sure, Holly. But the elves seem to like it. Couldn't you fix the magic money chest, Daddy? It's not broken. We just need a gold coin to throw in. Who's got one? That's the problem, dear. Nobody's got one. So how do we get a gold coin? My dad gets paid gold coins for doing his job. Really? Could you do a job, Daddy, and get a gold coin? I suppose I could give it a try. What sort of job will you get, Daddy? I'm not sure. I must be good at lots of things. I'm the king. Ah! Wise old elf, I'm looking for a job. <laughs> Very funny, Your Majesty. No, I'm serious. I need to earn a gold coin. I see. Normally you'd have to go to the elf job centre and answer lots of questions. But in your case... No, no. I command you to treat me like anyone else. Yes, sire. Naim... The King. Mr King. What was your last job? The King. The king. Any skills? Being king. Mm, we don't have a king job right now. Um, we need a toy factory worker, or a farmer, or a sailor. Ooh, Daddy, sailor sounds fun. Yes, I like messing about in boats. You will be a sailor on our brand new ship, Your Majesty. It's the king! Hooray! I'm not the king today. I'm just a humble sailor. But we need a king to launch our new ship. Oh, all right, then. I'll just be a king for a moment. I declare this ship launched. Hurrah! Now treat me like any new sailor. OK. You can mop the deck. Right. You're doing very well, Daddy. It's rather dull. Why don't I speed things up with some magic? No, Daddy. The elves don't like magic. <sighs> Your job looks fun. Let's swap. Of course, Your Majesty. Much better. Oh, this is fun. Where to starboard? Which way starboard? Why can't they just say left or right? We've hit a rock! Abandon ship! Hello, Your Majesty. How's everything going? Very well. But that ship wasn't strong enough. 
Have you got another one? Maybe you're not cut out to be a sailor, Your Majesty. What other jobs did the elf lady say I could do? The toy factory, Daddy. That would be fun. It's the king! Hooray! I'm not the king today. I'm just a humble factory worker like you lot. But we need a king to inspect the toys. OK, I'll be king for a second. <coughs> it's perfect. Right, now I'm just a humble factory worker again. What do I do? Press this button and out comes the gloop. <laughs> what about something a bit more interesting? Making the toys. Uh, no, Your Majesty. The painting? Perhaps not. The packing? No. Today you are the gloop elf. Very good, Daddy. I think I'm really getting the hang of this. Don't go so fast, Daddy. What? Go faster? All right. How are you getting on, Your Majesty? Oh! Perhaps you're not suited to factory work, Your Majesty. What was the last job on the list? Working on the farm, Daddy. The King has arrived to start our harvest dance. Hooray! I'm not the King today. I'm here to do farm work. But it's our holiday. Not when there's work to be done. You heard the king. Back to work. <gasps> Righto, what do I do? This pumpkin needs watering, so it'll grow nice and big. It's not growing. It takes a long time, King Thistle. Weeks and weeks. Hmm. Let's speed it up with a little magic. No, Daddy. That'll help it grow. Wow! That's a big pumpkin. It's still growing! It's not going to stop! Ah! The pumpkin's going to explode! Right. Well, that's as good a time as any to finish my day's work. How many gold coins have I earned? For being a sailor, you earned one gold coin. But for sinking the ship, we'll have to take it back. For working in the factory, you earned one gold coin. But for causing a duck flood, we'll have to take it back. And for working on the farm, you earned one gold coin. But for making the pumpkin explode, we'll have to take it back. But I need a gold coin. I suppose I'll just have to come back to work tomorrow. Ah! Take the gold coin and don't come back tomorrow. One gold coin. I earned it all myself. Oh, well done, darling. We just chuck it in the magic money chest. It's doing the popcorn thing. It's full of gold coins. <laughs> We're rich again. Hooray! Well done, Daddy. You worked so hard today. It was fun. Well, I'm off. Don't want to be late. Where are you going, Daddy? Back to work. I've decided to work evenings. But we have the money, Daddy. There's more to work than money, Holly. The elves need me. Your Majesty, we need you. You see? We want you to be the king again. But kings don't work. I want to be useful. But kings are useful. We needed a king to launch the elf ship. That's true. You launched the elf ship, Daddy. Even though you sort of sank it as well. We couldn't make our toys if a king didn't inspect them. And most importantly, a king has to start our harvest dance. I see. Well, in that case, start the harvest dance. Hooray! Uh-oh. Maybe I am quite good at being king. I think it's the job you're second best at. Really? And what job am I best at? Being Daddy. <laughs> Bedtime, Princess Holly. Into your pyjamas. Yes, Nanny Plum. Clothes into pyjamas. Let's just magic you into bed and magically brush your hair. Ah, magic is so nice. What would we do without magic? Elves 
elves don't have magic. Elves are crazy. They don't even like talking about magic. Magic, magic, magic. Tomorrow is the day. What happens tomorrow, wise old elf? Once in a blue moon, the fairy's magic stops working. Stops working? Yes, for a whole day, from sunrise to sunset. It will be no magic day. Why? Nobody knows why, only that when the moon is blue, the magic does not work. Ooh, fairies without magic! For a whole day. <coughs> Morning time. Pajamas into clothes. Oh, my wand's not working. Daddy! Daddy! My wand isn't working! Neither is mine! Mine isn't either! Wandy, wandy! Oh, the magic stopped! How am I supposed to get dressed without magic? We'll just have to dress the old-fashioned way, using our hands. Our hands? Do calm down, dear. Let's just have some breakfast while we think about what to do. You're right. Nanny Plum, magic up some breakfast. Certainly, Your Majesty. Zibbity zabbity zob. Oh, I forgot. My wand doesn't work. What's going on? Why isn't there any magic? Happy No Magic Day. Eh? What? Don't you know? Every blue moon, it's No Magic Day. Oh, of course. <laughs> yes. And I see you're all still in your pyjamas. Had any breakfast? No. <laughs> you see, children, when fairies don't have magic, they can't do anything. Have you just come to laugh at us, wise old elf? Yes. <laughs> I've a good mind to turn you into a frog. Be my guest. Abracadabra. <laughs> <laughs> As you can see, children, the fairy wands don't work today. Holly, would you like us to help? Oh, thanks, Ben. We, we can, can all help. help. <laughs> Happy No Magic Day. Bye. Normally, I wave my wand and warm water appears in the bath with lots of lovely bubbles. Have you tried the taps? Taps? Oh, so that's what those things are for. Put your feet in your shoes and you're dressed without magic. And this is how you brush your hair. <laughs> it's really fun. <laughs> I'm going to do the washing up without magic. We'll help you, Nanny Plum. Oh, thank you. Elves are good at washing up. And we're elves. <laughs> this is how you turn the television on. And the weather in the Little Kingdom today will be bright and sunny everywhere. Oh, very good. And this works like this. How clever! Happy No Magic Day, Mr Elf. Um, wise old elf, we're having a bit of a problem at the toy factory. Oh, then I'd better take a look. That's strange. The escalator isn't working. Yes, wise old elf. Nothing is working. The whole factory has stopped. But the elf factory never stops. Oh, it stopped. We cannot make any toys. But I don't understand. Why has everything stopped? I think you should take a look at this. The elf engine has broken down. Ah, the elf engine, of course. What can we do? Um, well, let's not worry about it. Not worry? But there are toys to be made. Oh, never mind. We'll just have a day off. A day off? Yes, in honour of No Magic Day. We can all have a holiday. There's no time for holidays. We have a big order of toys for an important customer. Well, the customer can wait. Uh, you better tell him yourself. Hello? Ho, ho, ho. It's Father Christmas here. Oh, Mr Christmas. Ah, wise old elf. How are the toys coming along? I need them today. Uh, yes, your Christmasness. No problem. 
How on earth are we going to get the toys made? We'll just fix the elf engine. I'm afraid we can't. Why can't we? Elves can fix anything. And, and we're, we're elves! <laughs> There is no way that engine is going to work today. Maybe it's just run out of fuel. Yes, it has. So we'll just get some more fuel. What does it run on? Steam or gas? No, the engine is powered by a very dangerous fuel. Nanny Plum! Magic us up some lunch. But I can't, Your Majesty. It's no magic day. Remember? Hmm. Then what are we going to eat? Um, would you like to come to the Great Elf Tree for lunch? That's very kind of you, Ben. We've got lots of food. Really? Then we shall take you up on your kind offer. It's very quiet. Hello? Anybody home? Ben, why isn't the escalator working? Uh, I don't know. Wise old elf, what on earth is happening? Well, nothing. But aren't there toys to be made? Yes, Ben. We've a big order for Father Christmas, but we can't make them. Why not? The elf engine isn't working. We can fix it. Elves are good at... No, no, no. It can't be fixed. The engine has run out of fuel. Oh. And what kind of fuel does it use? I can't say. I demand to know. It's a secret. Wise old elf, what fuel does the elf engine use? Oh, it's... Mud. Mud? No, it's... Mud. Mustard? Ma Marshmallows? Ma ma Melted cheese? M magic! <gasps> magic? Are you saying the Great Elf Engine is run on magic? Yes. But you hate magic. Yes. But it has a small carbon footprint and it never stops. Except today. Yes. Because today is no magic day. There must be another way to run the factory. Yes, the emergency power. Of course. The emergency power. But that's just a hamster wheel. It is the emergency power unit. All elves on the hamster wheel will power the factory by foot. Can we help? Good idea, Holly. But, Your Majesty, this is elf work, not fairy work. We're all in it together. You helped us this morning. Now we can help you. All for one and one for all. Yeah, I suppose. Thank you, everyone. The Elf Factory is working again! Hooray! Let's hope we get these toys done in time. Yes! The day is nearly over. Ah! The magic is back and the Elf Engine is working again. Everyone off the hamster wheel! Ah! I'm glad the Elf Engine is working again. Don't you mean the secret magic engine? Ha! Ah. So now we know. Elves do do magic sometimes. Well, at least we don't need magic to get dressed. <laughs> Let's hear you laugh when I turn you into a frog. Not today, Nanny Plum. It is no magic day, remember? Uh, wise old elf, no magic day is over. Eh? Oh. Abracadabra. Ah, oh, good. The magic is back. And the factory is working again. And the wise old elf is a frog. Everything is back to normal. Hooray! Hello. Ah! Big people. Hello, wise old elf. It's me, Father Christmas. Father Christmas! Why are you dressed like that? I'm in disguise. Top secret and all that. Ooh! I've popped down to check how you elves and fairies are doing with the Christmas preparations. Everything is in hand.
hand, Mr Christmas. We've made all the toys for you to give to the children of the world. Dolls' houses, footballs and teddy bears. Lovely. And Mr Elf has been flying day and night, delivering the toys to you at the North Pole. Good. Good. And how about the Christmas crackers? The fairies are in charge of the crackers. Hello, everyone. We have a visitor. Ho, ho, ho. Ah! Of course. You don't know who I am. I'm in disguise. You're Father Christmas. Oh, yes. Mr Christmas, would you like to test a cracker? Wow! That's loud. Yes. Nanny Plum is in charge of the bangs. Less bang, please, Nanny. What? But the bang is the best bit. That's why we do the cracker making underground. Let's try the paper hat. How do I look? <laughs> Very Christmassy. And we've got some good cracker jokes this year. What do you get if you cross a kangaroo and a sheep? A woolly jumper. <laughs> Daddy, that's awful. Cracker jokes are meant to be awful. That's why we get King Thistle to write them. <laughs> and the cracker toys. This year, we've made telephones to put in the crackers. A tiny telephone. Does it really work? No, it's just a lump of plastic. And down there, all the bits and bobs are put into the crackers by magic. Mr Elf has delivered loads of Christmas crackers to the shops already. Good. The big people pick them up and put them on the shelves. And they have no idea the crackers were made by elves and fairies. Jolly good work. And how are the Christmas trees? The Pine Elves have been growing them all year. Hello. We've come to see the Christmas trees. Ho, ho, ho. Hello, Father Christmas. Like the outfit, what fashion is it exactly? Uh, it's meant to be a disguise. So many lovely Christmas trees. Yes. Pine Elves are good at growing Christmas trees. And we're Pine Elves. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, this pine tree has little windows in it. Yes, we live in a great oak tree. The pine elves live in a great pine tree. All elves live in trees. Goodness knows why. How do you get all the Christmas trees to the shops? Once a year, the big people come and cut the trees down. And they have no idea the Christmas trees were grown by us little people. But what if they cut down the great pine tree? There's no danger of that. The great pine tree is too big. Everything seems in hand. Thank you, elves and fairies. Our pleasure. I need to get back to the North Pole and change clothes. I can't deliver presents dressed like this. Bye. Bye-bye, Father Christmas. Now, where did I leave my sleigh? The big people should be here any moment to cut the trees down. Here they come. They mustn't see us. Everyone into the great pine tree. You all stay down here. I'm going upstairs to take a look. Close the shutters. Good. Now we're completely hidden. Right, men. Let's cut these Christmas trees down. Timber! Problem. We Pine Elves are used to the noise. Uh, that was loud. I think they've finished. Excellent. They've taken all the trees. Uh, even the great pine tree. Ah, where's the upstairs gone? The big people have taken it. Don't worry. The wise old elf will sort this out. Uh, where is the wise old elf? 
It's for you. Oh, hello. Your Majesty. It's a disaster. The great pine tree has been cut down with all the pine elves inside. Well, if they will insist on living in a Christmas tree, what do they expect? <laughs> Your Majesty, that is not helpful. Honestly, why can't they live like normal people in a castle? Nanny Plum, tea break. Ooh, thank you, Queen Thistle. Cracker testing is thirsty work. <gasps> That's the sound of big feet. The big people are coming. They must see the little castle. Oh, yes. Um, uh, I know. I'll shrink it down. Shrink, little castle. Shrink, shrink, shrink. Good. With any luck, the big people won't notice it now. Ah, Nanny Plum! You've shrunk me as well! Uh... Oh, here come the big people. Now, where did I leave my sleigh? Oh, what's this? A toy castle. I didn't know the elves were making these. What's that squeaky noise? Oh, well, I'll just take this toy to the North Pole myself, or else some poor child won't get their Christmas present. Uh, Mr. Christmas! Ho, ho, ho! Away we go! Oh, dear. Home at last. Uh, where is my castle? Uh, somehow it sort of shrunk itself down. And Father Christmas thought it was a toy and he's taking it to the North Pole. What? Well, if some people will live in houses that look like little toy castles, what do they expect? Hmm. <sighs> the Queen will sort this out. Queen Thistle! We have a little problem up here that we might need a hand sorting out. Where is the Queen? Uh, on her way to the North Pole. Somehow she shrank down inside the castle. I see. I'll just have to sort this mess out myself then. Let's give Father Christmas a ring. Ah, good. A phone. Ah! Put me down. Ah! Get me out of this cracker. Still one more box of crackers? Let's get them loaded. Taking a long time. I'm the king! <laughs> oh, another box of crackers. It's funny, we never see who delivers them. Ah! Trapped in a cracker! <sighs> oh well, at least I can phone for help. Ah, oh, yes, it's not a phone. It's a lump of plastic. Get me out of this cracker! Trees! Last delivery of Christmas trees! Wow, that's a big Christmas tree. Stacked up in a garden centre. How embarrassing. The North Pole. I need to get ready for my Christmas deliveries. One last toy to be wrapped. I'm not a toy. I'm Queen Thistle. Ah! Help! Let me out! I'm a queen. King Thistle trapped in a cracker. The wise old elf stuck in a Christmas tree. Queen Thistle wrapped up as a present? What will happen next? Join us again as our Christmas adventure continues. Hello, everybody. May I present my new boat, Bunty 2. Bunty 2? Yes. Do you remember my old boat, Bunty? Bunty was a lovely boat. Yes, Bunty was a lovely boat. Until she met Big Bad Barry. You all know what happened then. Barry ate Bunty. Yes, Barry has eaten every boat I've ever made. But now I've built Bunty 2, my best boat ever. 
Six bedrooms, three bathrooms, a kitchen, a sun lounge, the ideal boat for a cruise to a tropical paradise. A cruise to a tropical paradise? How wonderful! And Bunty, too, doesn't run on clockwork. She runs on batteries. So she's super fast. to stop Big Bad Barry eating this boat. Aha! I have a brilliant plan. What's the plan? Bunty 2 is never going in the water. Never going in the water? Yes. Barry is not going to eat Bunty 2. This is ridiculous. Why did you build a boat that you're not going to put in the water? Just for something to do. So we're not sailing to the tropical paradise? Nope. Oh, Dad! I thought we were all going on holiday. I've got a good idea. As your king, I command you to put Bunty 2 in the water and sail us to the tropical paradise. But what about Big Bad Barry? Don't worry. If Barry eats Bunty 2, I'll take full responsibility. What does that mean? You can blame it on me. The king is so wise. But, but... Good. That's sorted, then. We're going on holiday. OK, but if we're going to do it, I'm in charge. And that means... Oh, this is an elf holiday, so no magic. <coughs> Yay! A holiday! Next stop, the ocean! Yes, but first we have to get past Barry. You worry too much, Mr Elf. Maybe Barry won't turn up. Oh, look! There's Barry! Ah! What do we do? What do we do? There's just one chance. Bunty 2 is super fast. It's working, Mr Elf. We're faster than Barry. We've left Barry really far behind. Good. He's given up. Hooray! Right, everybody. Let's sail to the tropics and swim among the corals. We're going on holiday, we're going on holiday. We're going on holiday to a tropical paradise. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mr Elf, it's lovely to see you so relaxed. Yes, with Barry far away, I'm actually enjoying this holiday. We're here, in the tropical ocean. Let's go diving. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> Mrs Elf, are you coming diving? Um, no thanks. I need to catch up on some important reading. Right all. See you later. Chapter one. I was just a young servant girl, and Squire Trevelyan, with his dark, broody looks and mane of black hair, was being very grumpy. I didn't like him at all. This is the coral reef. Amazing! Yes, it's all so pretty. Do you think we'll bump into anyone else down here? In the middle of a vast ocean? We're not going to bump into anyone. Ah, watch where you're going. Oh, I'm most terribly sorry. I didn't see you there. Well, I am here, and I'm not pleased to be bumped into. Not pleased at all. It's Captain Squid, the pirate. Yes, it is I, Captain Squid, and I'm here burying my treasure. Burying your treasure? At the bottom of the ocean? The thing is, every place I bury my treasure, it gets found. So I thought, if I bury it at the bottom of the ocean, where no people ever visit, maybe, just maybe, my treasure might stay hidden. It's not too much to ask, is it? Well, we're very sorry to disturb you. We'll be on our way. Yes, be off with you. Get your own ocean to swim in. Uh, hang on a moment. There is, uh, something you could help me with. What's that? It's a bit embarrassing, but, uh, I haven't got a boat to sail home in. Can I have a lift? What happened to your boat? It got eaten by a big fish. Barry! Barry's here! The fish that ate my boat had big eyes. That's Barry. And a big mouth. That's Barry! And eight legs. That's not Barry. A fish with eight legs? Yes, it's a giant octopus and it's swimming towards your boat. Ah! 
I have to warn Mrs Elf. And then Squire Trevelyan said, Here is the great secret I must tell you. The person I truly love is... Yes, this had better be important. Yes, uh, don't panic, but there is something swimming towards you. Oh, yes. What sort of a something? Uh, a sort of hungry giant octopus with eight legs something. Oh, yes, I see it. What should I do? Would you mind telling it not to eat my boat? Now, listen here, Mr Octopus. This boat is not for eating. What's happening? The octopus seems to be eating your boat. Quick, to the surface! Naughty octopus! Stop eating! Stop at once, I say! <laughs> ah, my boat! Eaten! I said this would happen! No, you said your boat would be eaten by Big Bad Barry, but it was eaten by a giant octopus. It's a disaster! Don't worry. I said I'd take responsibility, and I will. And? That's it. I've taken responsibility. Fine. Well, I hate to ask, but Nanny Plum, can you magic a boat up so we can go home? No. Why not? Because you said blah, 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 no magic, and you took my wand away, remember? Oh, yes. So I did. So, we're stranded here. No, I've just had a brilliant Mr Elf idea. I'll build a raft out of the wreckage. And we'll help you. Yes, Dad. We'll lash the pieces together with rope. There, finished. May I present Bunty 3? What's Bunty 3? This boat. Bunty 2 was prettier. It's not meant to be pretty. It's a raft. I know what a raft is. Where's the bathroom? Is it downstairs? Ah, there isn't a downstairs. Don't be too harsh on Nanny. She doesn't know as much about rafts as us sailors. By the way, where's the kitchen? Is that downstairs too? Yes, it's probably next to the sitting room. This is a raft. There aren't sitting rooms and kitchens and bathrooms. It's not very luxurious then, is it? No, it's not, but it will get us home. And so, Squire Trevelyan turned out to be nice after all, and I married him. The end. My goodness! That was a surprise ending. Land ahoy! We're home! Yes, but that means we're near to Big Bad Barry. Stop worrying, Mr Elf. Barry might not turn up. Oh, look! There's Barry! Oh, he's been waiting for us all this time. How sweet. He's going to eat Bunty 3. Yum, yum. Ah! Abandoned ship! Abandoned ship! Don't worry, everyone. Whatever happens, I will take full responsibility. That makes everything all right, then. My boat is gone. Gone into Barry's tummy. Curse you, Big Bad Barry. You'll never eat another boat of mine. Never. Never. Because I'm not going to build a boat ever again. I think you've upset Barry, Mr Elf. Look at his sad little face. <laughs> he is crying. I've never seen a fish cry. You shouldn't be so unkind to Barry. What? Yes, Barry doesn't mean any harm. Doesn't mean any harm? Mr Elf, as your king, I command you to build another boat for Barry. Aye? What sort of boat would you like, Barry? A sailing boat? Yum, yum. A sailing boat for Barry, please, Mr Elf. King Thistle is so wise. Yes, we are very lucky. Fairy cakes. Who wants fairy cakes? Oh, yes, please. Wise old elf. Hmm, don't mind if I do. Ah, my ears are wiggling. That means there's magic about. Well, I did make the cakes with magic. Why can't you make cakes the normal way? 
by baking them in the oven. I don't have time for baking in ovens. I have lots of work to do. Ha! What work? I do more work than you. No, you don't. I do more work than you. I could do what you do, no problem. I could do what you do easily. Why don't you swap jobs? Then you'd know who does the most work. Good idea. Ho, ho, ho. Very funny, Your Majesty. I'm not joking. As your king, I command you to swap jobs for one day. The wise old elf can be Nanny. And Nanny can be the wise old elf. But... But... No buts. It's a royal command. All right, then. You'd better have my hat. And you'd better have my apron. Now, I'd better warn the elves what they're in for. Calling all elves. Just for today, somebody else is going to be the wise old elf. Who is it? Me! <gasps> Danny Plum! Don't worry. She won't do any magic. She has to do everything the elf way. I'm the wise old elf. Ahem. <clears throat> Magic always leads to trouble. Well, I have to go. I'm being Nanny Plum for the day. Goodbye. Oh, I should have taken Nanny's wand away. Don't worry. Nanny said she wouldn't do any magic. Hmm. I'll know if she does. My ears will wiggle. So, what does the wise old elf do all day? He has a list of jobs. He starts with the toy factory. Hello, everyone. I'm the wise old owl. Don't worry. It's just for today. Oh, I see. Um, well, wise old elf, the glute machine is broken. Can you fix it? No problemo. Time for a bit of magic. My ears are wiggling. Nanny is doing magic. Hello? No magic. All right. Keep your hair on. Nanny, you're the wise old elf today, remember? Oh, yes. How would he fix the gloop machine? He'd probably just kick it. OK. <laughs> the packaging machine isn't working. Do you want me to kick it? Yes, please, wise old elf. <laughs> the paint machine needs fixing. Oh, my foot's beginning to ache. Wise old elf. I'm Nanny Plum today, Your Majesty. Do you have Nanny's list of jobs? List of jobs? I don't think she has one. Nanny isn't one for lists. Why not start by washing my socks? All right, let's go down to the washing room. Oh, these stairs are going up. But a moment ago, they went down. Yes, it's magic. The stairs change all the time. The rooms get bored, so they move around. The toilet was on the roof once. Yes, that was fun. But how do I get down to the kitchen? You ask the stairs to go down. Stairs go down. You have to say the magic word. What magic word? Abracadabra? No, please. Oh, please go down. <laughs> Thank you. Right, let's get these dirty clothes into the washing machine. How do I turn it on? It's a magic washing machine. You have to talk to it. OK. Washing machine, wash the clothes. Say the magic word. Oh, please. No, abracadabra. Oh, abracadabra. <laughs> Goodness, this is harder than I thought it would be. Right, then. What does the wise old elf do now? Next on the list, the elf school. Good morning, children. Where's the wise old elf? Today, I'm the wise old elf. Ahem. <clears throat> Magic always leads to trouble. <laughs> <laughs> so, what's today's lesson? We've been building a robot. You can ask him anything. OK, where am I? You are on the moon. That's not right, is it? Uh, maybe ask louder. OK. <clears throat> where am I? You are at the bottom of the sea. 
Hmm. How would the wise old elf mend it? He'd probably disassemble the bias kernel, Boolean geek logic, Higgs, Boson, Quark, and then rewire them. Even if I had the foggiest idea what you were talking about, can you see me doing that? No. OK, magic time! <laughs> dee dee da, dum dee. Ah! My ears are wiggling. Now, where am I? You are. Here. You can't get more accurate than that. <laughs> Hello? Nanny? I know. Your ears are wiggling. Which means you are doing magic. Stop it. Stop it now. I do not like magic. Now, Holly, what is my next job? Um, magic school. Oh. Good morning, children. I am Nanny Plum for today. Good morning, Nanny Plum. Today's magic lesson is magic always leads to trouble. So, don't do magic. The end. Is that it? Yes. Now, I think I'll have a little nap. So, this is Nanny Plum's bedroom. It's all flowers, bunnies and cushions. Lovely, isn't it? At least I can have a little sleep. Ah! It's so soft! It's not a bed, it's a giant pudding. What's next? The wise old elf has a little nap. So, this is the wise old elf's bedroom. How could a room be more boring? Ow! That's not a bed, it's a plank of wood. Wise old elf, please report to Elf Rescue. Oof. What now? You have to sit here and wait for the red phone to ring. If the red phone rings, you launch Elf Rescue and save people from deadly peril. Are the biscuits? Yes. Oh, goody. Oh, how can a bed be so soft? Oh, what is it now? Nanny, I want a snack. Nanny! OK, Your Majesty. Aha, jelly. Your snack, King Thistle. Lovely. What is it? Jelly. Oh, that's magic jelly. We don't want a jelly flood. Oh, oh there's not going to be a jelly flood. But all it takes is someone to shout, Magic jelly, more, more, more. Who would be foolish enough to shout magic jelly, more, more, more? Whoops! Jelly flood! Can somebody answer the phone? I'm busy eating biscuits. Nanny, you're in charge. Oh, all right. Hello, Elf Rescue here. It had better be something important. Um, uh, I seem to have made a jelly flood. Can you rescue us, please? Okie dokie. Elf Rescue a go. Launch everything. Elf Rocket A-OK. -okay. Elf Plane A-OK. -okay. Elf Helicopter A-OK. -okay. Thank goodness you're here, Elf Rescue. A jelly flood isn't a job for Elf Rescue. It's a job for Nanny Plum. Magic time! Thank you, Nanny. Being you for a day wasn't easy. And it wasn't easy being you either. Ah, I'm Nanny Plum again. And I'm the wise old elf. Good. Everything is back to normal. Hooray! Can I celebrate by turning you into a frog? Don't even think about turning me into a frog. Wow! A flying saucer! Hello, Holly. It is I, Zyros, from Planet Bong. Oh, hello, Zyros. Nice to see you again. What 
What's all this noise? Is it an alien invasion? No, it's our friend Zyros from Planet Bong. We have come for help from the Wise One. The Wise One? That must be me. No, dear. I think he means the wise old elf. Oh, yes. Smarty Pants. He lives at the Great Elf Tree over there. Thank you. We will go and look for Smarty Pants. <laughs> Cyrus, the alien! Hello! Hello, Elf Ben. We are looking for the one they call Smarty Pants. He must mean the wise old elf. Did someone say my name? Goodness me, alien! <gasps> we need your help, Smarty Pants. Well, of course. Anything I can do. Is it true you can solve any problem? Yes, I can solve any problem. Good. We have a big problem. Once upon a time, our home planet was a wonderful planet. It was covered in plants and all was good. There was everything we needed and we were surrounded by beautiful flowers. We worked happily in our factories, and everything was fine. It sounds very nice. Yes, it was. But now it is very hot, and the plants do not grow anymore. Oh, that's a shame. So we want you to bring all the plants back to life and make Planet Bong nice again like it was before. Uh, that sounds a bit difficult. But can't you use your magic? Magic? Elves don't do magic, and I'm an elf. So, you cannot help us. You are not Smarty Pants. Yes, I am Smarty Pants, and I will save your planet with uh, b b magic. But wise old elf, elves don't do magic. Shh, don't worry about it, Ben. Good. We go now. This will be an elf expedition to save Planet Bong. Uh, I'll just need to stop on the way to collect a friend. For goodness sake, what is it now? We have found Smarty Pants. Here I am. How do I get down? Is there a ladder? I am afraid we do not have this ladder you speak of. Merely a primitive tronic beam. Ooh. Cool! But what do you want? It's the middle of the night. We're going to Planet Bong. It's very hot there. Ah, a holiday. I love holidays. I'll come too. Holiday, holiday. Yes, and I have a job to do there which may require the services of a fairy helper. I can help. I'm good at helping. I need a sensible fairy. That's me! A fairy who does magic in a responsible, grown-up way. It's almost like you've said my name. Oh, very well. If we're going on holiday, we'll need to pack some things. No, no, no! It's not a holiday. Whatever. Let's see. What do we need for a holiday? Swimming costumes and towels? We'll need sunscreen. Sunscreen. Buckets and spades. Buckets and spades. Picnic basket. Beach ball. First aid kit. Cooker. Deck chairs. She's bringing everything but the kitchen sink. Oh, I nearly forgot. Thank you, wise old elf. Kitchen sink. Wow, you got all that into your bag. Yes, it's my magic bag. Come. Um, it's not really a holiday. We must leave. Hold tight, everyone. It can be bumpy. What do you mean, bumpy? <laughs> ah! What's happening? Why are we floating? There is no gravity in space. Nothing to hold you down. Sorry, I forgot to turn on the ship's gravity motor. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. <gasps> Look at all the pretty sparkly lights. 
Behold, the wondrous science of an alien race. Where's the toilet? We do not go to the toilet. Incredible! Being so advanced, they have stopped needing to go to the toilet. No toilet? What if I want to go? You should have gone before we set off. Maybe there'll be toilets at the beach. Is there a beach on Planet Bong? Planet Bong is all beach. Wow! All beach? Yes. It is very hot and sunny. Would anyone like a snack? Yes, please. This machine can make any food or drink you like. Can it make orange juice? Yes. Mmm, <coughs> delicious. Can it make a jam and peanut butter and banana sandwich? Yes. Amazing. Can it make jelly? No. It can make anything in the universe, but not jelly. Which is a shame, because I like jelly. Jelly? I can do jelly. Nanny! Nanny. What? A little bit of jelly never did anyone any harm. Magic jelly, please. Aw, it is a bit small. I would like lots of jelly. OK. Magic jelly. Lots, lots, lots! Ah! Jelly blood! <laughs> a jelly flood inside a pressurised spacecraft. Nanny, you have surpassed yourself. Thank you, wise old elf. <laughs> Magic jelly is very tasty. <laughs> <gasps> what was that? We're slowing down. The engine is stopped. Why? I'll tell you why. It's full of magic jelly. Oh. Drifting in deep space. We're stuck here forever and ever and ever and ever and ever and ever. And ever. Yeah, no here forever. Aren't we? No! We have Smarty Pants. He can fix the engine. Well, uh, uh... I will open the engine. Now, Smarty Pants will go outside and fix the engine. Uh, I'd love to, but I can't go outside. I don't have a spacesuit. A spacesuit? Oh, hang on. I think I packed one in my magic bag. Here you are. Uh, thank you, Nanny. Hmm, <laughs> this looks a bit like plumbing. Elves are good at plumbing, and I'm an elf. <laughs> oh. Hello there. What are you doing here? I'm the fairy helper, remember? Well, don't touch anything. This is advanced alien technology capable of travelling across the universe at the speed of light. Although, it is very like plumbing. Maybe if I give it a kick. <laughs> Why don't you just give it a push? Give it a push? This technological miracle? You just gave it a kick. Oh, uh, OK. Let's give it a push. It's just like getting a car to start. OK, Mr Zyros, give it a bit of gas. OK. Push! Uh, oh, nothing. More gas! OK. Whoa! It worked! They went off like a, a rocket. Next stop, Planet Bomb. Hey! Hey, come back! They've left us! That's outrageous! Help! Oh. Help! Will Nanny Plum and the wise old elf be lost in space forever? Find out next time in Planet Bong, Episode 2. Look what's come in the post. What a fancy envelope. It looks very posh. Let's see who it's from. Dear King and Queen Thistle, I have decided to come and visit your little kingdom today. I'll be arriving at dinner time. Yours sincerely, King Leopold. King Leopold? Yes.
Never heard of him. He's heard of you, Daddy. Just think, a king. I'm a king. No, but a proper one. We must give him a royal welcome. He's a VIP. What's a VIP? A very important person. I'm a very important person. What is everyone getting so excited about? Have you heard the news? A king is coming to visit. It's written down in writing. Brilliant, isn't it? A real king. I'm a real king. It's so exciting that a very important person is coming. I want to tell everyone. I want to tell the marigolds. Hello. Hello. Queen Thistle here. Oh, my little sister. How are you? I'm fine. I just thought you'd like to know that we have King Leopold visiting today. Who's King Leopold? A very important person. A VIP? Oh, my goodness. A VIP? Our castle's bigger. Why can't the VIP come here? No, thank you. King Leopold wants to visit us. Oh. But maybe you could come and meet him too. Oh, yes, please. We're having a party in his honour tonight. We'll be there. Bye. Usually the marigolds laugh and laugh and laugh at us, but this time we'll be different. <laughs> We've got King Leopold coming to visit. We must start preparing. We'll have to make lots of lovely food. I'll start cooking straight away. We'll need a red carpet and the little children can wave flags to welcome King Leopold. And we'll have beautiful music. Now, children, everyone pick an instrument. Ben, you can play the spal throttle. OK. I've got the thump warbler. <coughs> and I've got the trimpy trumpy. <coughs> I think I'll have the fairy harp. Ah! Magic instruments! It is meant to be an elf and fairy band. And we fairies always use magical instruments. Oh, very well. Just a little magic, then. OK. Here's the magic piano. Hello, I'm a magic piano. I sing and I talk and I play. Ah! Too much magic. The wise old elf doesn't like magic. Ah, oh, sorry. I'm not a magic piano. I'm just a normal piano. I don't talk, really. My turn. A magic triangle. I can't bear to look. Oh, a pretty triangle. What's magical about that? Just don't ask it for free wishes. <laughs> ah! Would it be OK if we played some rock and roll? Rock and roll? Certainly not. We're playing for King Leopold, remember? OK. It was just a thought. Now, let's make music. Good work, everybody. It's looking great. Where's the food? Nelly Plum! There you go. I've made spaghetti vongole a la truffles. Yum, yum! This food looks delicious. Better than the usual stodge you make me. That's because King Leopold is coming to dinner. <sighs> Have all the little children got their flags to wave? <laughs> <laughs> Why don't they do that for me? Because... I know, I know. I'm not King Leopold. And we need music. Where's the band? Here we are. We've been practising all afternoon. Oh, good. It's nearly time. Everybody into their seats. I can hear footsteps. Someone's coming. Hooray! 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 Here he comes. Let's start the music. Hello there. Evening, all. Get out of the way. We're waiting for a very important person. Oh, yes? Who's that, then? King Leopold. That's me. <gasps> you? You're King Leopold? Are you an actual?
special king? Oh, yes. Where's your crown? I keep it under me hat. But why have you never told us before? Oh, I don't like to go on about it. Don't like to go on about it? You sent us this flowery letter asking for a feast. Yes. Well, if I just drop in, I find people usually send me away. But if I send a letter as King Leopold, I get a bit more of a welcome and a dinner. It works the first time anyway. Can I have this pie? Uh, yes, I suppose so. Very nice. I know a fact about pies. Do you want to hear it? No. no. I'll take that as a yes. Pies are never found in the wild. They have to be made by someone. <laughs> <sighs> All that effort and King Leopold oh turns out to be the gnome. Yes, mm. it's an outrage. <laughs> oh, he's still a king. And you've all been making such a fuss about a very important person coming. Daddy is right. Yes, we should still welcome King Leopold. Especially after all our practice. Let's enjoy ourselves. We've got a party with music and lovely food. Yes, I suppose things haven't worked out too badly. King and Queen Marigold are here. Oh! Oh, no more pies. What's this? It's spaghetti vongole. OK, I'll give it a go. What will the marigolds say when they see that? <laughs> They'll laugh and laugh and laugh and laugh and... Here we are, darlings. Where is King Leopold? Uh, well, he's there. There? <laughs> he's that gnome king. Look! He doesn't even wear a crown. Oh, I keep it under me hat. How humble he is. How modern. Oh, I feel positively overdressed. Me too. From now on, I'm going to wear a sack. Can we do the song now? Oh, yes. Uh, <clears throat> King Leopold, may I present the Elf and Fairy Band? Lovely. <laughs> Excuse me for interrupting, but I couldn't help noticing you've got a magic piano. Hello there. And no offence, but that fancy whiffy waffy music is a waste of a good magic piano. Do you know any rock and roll? Rock and roll's my middle name. Wise old elf. Do you like rock and roll? Rock and roll? I most certainly do not like rock and roll. I'll take that as a yes. Over to you, Mr. Piano. A bee bop a doo da a doo da do. <laughs> Oh, if I must, bump your booze and wiggle your woo-ahs. Thank you very much. Oh, that was fun. I'm going to enjoy staying here. Oh, dear. We're stuck with him for weeks now. This Gnome King is incredible. If only King Leopold would come and stay with us at our castle. I don't see why not. Just mention pies and he's all yours. I say, old boy, would you like to stay with us for a few weeks? There will be pies. <laughs> oh, if there's pies involved, I'll stay with you forever. <laughs> A bee bop a doo da a doo da do. <laughs> Catch, Holly. <laughs> Catch, Ben. <laughs> Let's play football. Okay. I'll magic the ball a bit bigger. Uh, hang on. I'm still holding it. Don't worry, Ben. I'll be very careful. Whoa! Oops! Holly! Now I'm big. Sorry, Ben. It was an accident. We can't play 
together like this. OK. I'll make myself big too. Whoa! <laughs> Great! Now we're both big. <gasps> Who's that? <laughs> <gasps> big people are coming! Shall we hide? I don't think we can. We're too big. What shall we do? Uh, oh, <laughs> it's just Lucy. Hello, Lucy. Hello. Who are you? <laughs> Lucy, it's us. Ben and Holly. Oh, yes. But you're so big. I made us big with a spell. Wow, that's great. I'm here with my friends, Katie and Yasmin. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to meet them? But big people aren't meant to know about little people like us. But I know about you. You're special. Don't worry. You look just like big people. They'll never know. OK, but we mustn't tell them any of our elf and fairy secrets. <laughs> Hello. These are my friends, Ben and Holly. I'm Yasmin. And I'm Katie. I like your fairy outfit. Thanks. Where do you live? In a fairy castle. You live in a fairy castle? Holly! Uh, I mean, I live in a house. Where do you live, Ben? I live in a tree. A tree? I mean, a block of flats. We call it the tree. I live in a block of flats too, but we call it a block of flats. I like your elf costume, especially the ears. Are you going to a fancy dress party? Uh... Come on, everyone. Let's play catch. Katie! Catch! <laughs> to you, Yasmin! <laughs> to you, Ben! Oh, I threw it too far! Don't worry, I've got it! Ooh! Wow! You can run really fast! And jump really high! That's because I'm an elf! Uh, ben! I mean, that's because I keep fit. <laughs> <laughs> Holly, can you run fast? No, but I can fly. Holly, remember, you can't really fly. Oh, yes. I can do magic. Ooh, magic. I like magic tricks. Show us a trick, then. Are you sure you can do magic, Holly? Of course. Are you really sure? Yes. Hocus pocus. Wow. wow! Holly, you'll give away that we're not normal big people. Oh, sorry. That's an amazing trick. How is it done? <laughs> is this a trick ball? Uh, it's a secret. A magician never gives away their secrets. Ooh. Ooh! Lucy, home time. That's my dad. We have to go now. It was nice to meet you, Ben and Holly. Bye! Bye! Bye-bye! Ben, should I shrink us back to normal size? No, I like being big. I never want to be small again. <laughs> Me too. Dum de dum de do. Diddly diddly do. Hi, Strawberry. Ah, a big person. Come back, Strawberry. It's only us. Strawberry. <laughs> Giants are coming. Giants are coming. What's the matter, Strawberry? Oh, Dad. I just saw two huge big people coming this way. Yeah, big people with their big feet. And you never know where they're going to step with those big feet. Hello, everyone. It's only us. Oh, Ben and Holly. But you're big. Holly magic us big. And we're going to stay big. That's very nice. But would you mind lifting your foot up? Oh, I stepped on you. Sorry, Mr Mayor. That's quite all right, Princess Holly, but if you're going to stay big, you'll need to watch those feet of yours. Holly! Home time! Oh, that's Nanny. Bye, everyone. Bye. Home time! And that's my mum. See you tomorrow. Feet, feet, feet. Oops, that was close. Sorry. Bye. 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 Lock your doors! It's 
It's OK, Mum. It's me. Oh, Ben. How did you get so big? Holly magicked me bigger. Well, you can't come inside like that. Can Holly make you small again? I don't want her to. I've decided to stay big forever. Oh, well, it's your life, I suppose. Do you want some dinner? Yes, please. You've got a lovely large pie for dinner today. There you go. Haven't you got anything bigger? What are you talking about? That's a huge pie. Uh, I think my tummy is a bit bigger than it was. Well, your tummy might have to go without. I'm used to feeding Ben the elf, not Ben the giant. Oh, no, no, no. Hello, I'm home. Ah, a giant! A giant! No, Daddy, it's me. My goodness, Holly! What happened to you? I magicked myself big and I want to stay big forever. Ah! Watch where you put those big feet. Holly, you almost stepped on Nanny. Oops, sorry, Nanny. Holly, are you really sure you want to stay big forever? Yes. It's almost bedtime. How are you going to fit in your little bed? I know, Mummy. I'll sleep outside. OK, but you'll need to keep warm. How about I magic you up a giant sleeping bag? Yes, please, Nanny. Oh, lovely. I'll sleep out here under the stars. Good night, Holly. Good night. Ah, this is cosy. I hope Ben has found somewhere nice to sleep as well. Calling all elves! Stop making toys! We need a giant sleeping bag! Right Who is this enormous sleeping bag for? Ben Elf. He's a giant person now. Oh, they grow up so fast these days. Ben, grab hold of this and pull! A giant sleeping bag. It's great. Thanks, everyone. Our pleasure. Elves are good at making giant sleeping bags. And, and we're, we're elves! elves. Ah! Ah! Maybe don't toot your horn when you're so big. Now sleep well. Good night. Good night. It is fun being big. I can't wait till morning. Princess Holly, time to get up. Oh, where are you? I'm here. The spell must have worn off and now I'm little again. Oh, never mind, Holly. Big is overrated in my opinion. I'm going to see if Ben has shrunk too. Ben, where are you? I'm here. The spell wore off in the night. Oh. Now we're little again. Well, at least you'll be able to have breakfast. Yes, breakfast. Thanks, Mum. Mmm, I didn't realise how hungry I was. I do like being small. Me too. <laughs> ben, Holly. That's Lucy. Do you want to play? Morning, Lucy. Oh, you're tiny again. Yes, we are. We decided we like being little after all. Actually, I think I like you being little too. You're just the right size for an elf and a fairy. And you're just the right size for a big person. <laughs> <laughs> oh, can someone fix this tap? What's wrong, Daddy? I just want to have a bath and the tap is dripping cold water on my toes. That tap's been dripping for ages. Shall I just fix it with magic? No, Nanny Plum! The last time you fixed a tap with magic, you flooded the whole kingdom. Oh, yes, so I did. You need a plumber. Good idea, Ben. Let's call the elf plumber. Hello, is that the elf plumber? Yes, this is the elf plumber. We've got a dripping tap. Ah, taps can be tricky. I'll be right over. OK, thanks. Goodbye. He'll be right over. 
The elf plumber is here, Your Majesty. That was quick. Good day. But that's just the wise old elf. I'll have you know I'm not just the wise old elf. I'm also a fully qualified plumber. Oh, good. Can you fix our tap? Yes. This is bad. Who put this tap in for you? You did. Ah, very good workmanship. You haven't been turning it on and off, have you? A bit, yes. When we use the bath. Ah, well, that's the trouble then. I was going to fix it with magic. No, you must never mix magic and plumbing. Well, can you mend it? Yes. Watch a master plumber at work. And that is how you fix a tap. Amazing! Oh, dear. Can't you just kick it again? Ho, ho, ho! A nice idea, Your Majesty. But I didn't take three years of plumbing school to just kick things. That pipe will have to come out. The whole pipe? I'm afraid so. It'll need digging out. Fine. Do whatever it takes. Just get it fixed. Um, this might be a good time to get out of the bath, Your Majesty. Oh, righto. Everyone stand clear. Hello? Darling sister, how are you? It's my sister, Queen Marigold. Oh, no! Great news. We've just had our castle rebuilt and we want you to come and see it. They want us to go and see their rebuilt castle. Oh, no! A visit to the snooty marigolds. Do we have to go? I'll handle this. King Thistle speaking. I hear you've had your castle rebuilt. Oh, it's very modern. All open plan, don't you know? Lots of space and air. Not like your stuffy old castle. Well, someone's doing up our castle too. He's very good. They're having the little castle done up. Oh, we simply must go and see. We'll be right over, darlings. Toodle pip. There's good news and bad news. What's the good news? Actually, it's just bad news. The marigolds are coming here. Oh, no! It gets worse. I told them someone was doing up the castle for us. Oh, yes? Who's that, then? You! Oh. It's always the same with the marigolds. They're just coming over to laugh at us. Oh, well, I'm sure the wise old elf can do something to make our castle a bit better. Yes, I've got a few ideas already. We can put in plastic windows and add a few garden gnomes. No, no, no! It needs to be super modern. I can do super modern. Concrete, glass, even taps that don't drip. That's more like it. Give me a year and I'll turn this castle into a palace. But the marigolds are coming today! Oh. And they're expecting a modern... Open plan castle. Don't worry, Queen Thistle. I can rebuild your castle. And we can help. Yes. Darling, why don't you go out for a nice walk and leave it with us? Why do I have to go away? Well, it's like one of those shows you see on the telly where you go away and they do your house up in a day and when you come back, it's lovely. Oh, I see. That sounds nice. Bye. Bye. When you come back, you won't recognise the place. Right. What's the plan? It's a big job. Can we get it done by tonight? Maybe, if we bodge it. What does bodge it mean? It's just a term we use in the building trade. Oh. Right. This wall has got to come out for a start. I suppose you know what you're doing. Don't worry. I always get the building inspector to check my work. Who's the building inspector? Me. But how can you inspect your own work? Oh, I'm very strict. Hmm. 
Let me see now. Having some work done, are you? Ah, uh, yes. Dear, oh dear. Who did this for you? You did. It's very bad work. Very, very bad work. You see, when I'm the building inspector, I'm very strict. Yes, you said your own work was rubbish. Which means it will all have to be redone. This is going to be a much bigger job than I thought. Calling all elves. I'll be needing the elf truck, the elf digger, and the elf crane. Hello, wise old elf. What's the job? We need to take all this away. All what? All of the castle. Really? Yes. We're going to rebuild it from scratch. Right all. Come on, lads. Let's get cracking. Goodness, what a lot of noise. Take it away. Afternoon, Your Majesty. Ah, yes, um, carry on. That's everything, lads. Off you go. Daddy, they've taken the whole castle away. This is a disaster. Cooey. Oh, no, it's Mummy. Can I take a look now? Uh, only if you close your eyes. Oh, this is fun. Just like those shows on the telly. Can I open my eyes now? I wouldn't. Tell me when I can. Uh, in about a month. Oh! Where's our home gone? Uh, well... What do you think the marigolds will say when they see this? They'll laugh and laugh and laugh. <laughs> oh, no! The marigolds are here! Hello, darling sister. Oh, my word. Oh, I say. It isn't quite how we expected it to be. I don't know what to say. It's, uh, not finished yet. It's incredible. Amazing. We went for high ceilings. You went for no ceilings at all. And look at the toilet. Yes, completely open plan. It's so adventurous. Well, it was all mostly my idea. King Thistle, old boy, you're a born architect. Have you considered teaching architecture? Oh, I don't know. We must do this with our castle. Come on, darling. No time to lose. Sorry, we can't stay. Bye. 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 Well, that wasn't so bad, was it? Only because the marigolds are completely bonkers. <laughs> I want my home back. Nanny, magic the castle back, please. OK, but it'll have to be a very big spell. Thunder and lightning! Blow, wind, blow! Back as it was! That's better. My home is back. It's just how it was before. It's better than it was before. How? All that magic I used has also fixed the tap. Oh, well done, Nanny. I have to say, I'm impressed. Not one drip. Let's turn it on. <laughs> There's a fountain coming out of the toilet. There's a waterfall coming out of the sink. And rain coming out of the ceiling. Oh, dear. Maybe I shouldn't have done such a big spell. Like I said, you must never mix magic and plumbing. Ben! <sighs> Morning, Dad. Haven't you even started packing yet? We're going on holiday today, remember? We're not leaving for ages, Mr Elf. Please try and relax. I'll try, Mrs Elf, but you know I find holidays difficult. Hi, Ben. Hi, Holly. <coughs> I'm taking Gaston to the vet. Do you want to come along? Yes. No, no, no. You're not going anywhere, Ben. You've got to stay home and pack your holiday bag. Oh, please let me go, Dad. It's ages before we have to set off on holiday. And we'll be really quick. Gaston's just going to the vets for a checkup. Okay, to the vets and straight back. 
No dawdling. Yes, Dad. See you later. Why is Gaston on a lead? He didn't really want to go to the vet. He's never been before. <coughs> Here we are, the vets. <coughs> Don't worry, Gaston. The vet is really nice. <coughs> Strawberry, we've come to see the vet. <laughs> That's my mum. She's the vet. Come in. <coughs> mum, Ben and Holly have brought Gaston for his <coughs> checkup. <coughs> Hello, Gaston. There is nothing to worry about. <coughs> Prop Gaston up on my table, please. What a good ladybird. Now, let's have a look in your mouth. Mmm, <coughs> nice healthy teeth. <coughs> Wow, you're really good with animals. Well, I am a vet. She's my mum. Let's check your eyes. <laughs> His eyes look really big. Nearly done now. We'll just take your temperature. <coughs> Temperature's fine. All is good, good, good. Gaston, you're a fit and healthy ladybird. <coughs> Here's a sticker for a very brave boy. <laughs> Bye, Gaston. I shouldn't need to see you again for quite a while. Well done, brave boy. <laughs> <sighs> What's taking Ben so long? Mr Elf, we don't need to leave for ages. Relax. <laughs> We're back. And not a moment too soon. We've got really good news. Gaston is fit and healthy. And the vet gave him a sticker for being a very brave boy. Lovely. Now, Ben, start packing. We're going on holiday, remember? Uh, Dad, I just had a very good idea. Yes? Gaston can come with us on holiday. Oh, yes! That's a super idea. No, this is a family holiday. Gaston is family. Um, where we're going, I don't think they allow pets. Yes, they do. Well, Gaston's not coming, and that's final. Aww. Now, for the one millionth time, Ben, please start packing your holiday bag. Yes, Dad. Come on, Ben. I'll help you pack. Fairies are good at packing holiday bags, and I'm a fairy. I'll help too. <laughs> <laughs> right, what am I going to pack? Hmm, probably simplest, just to pack everything. How about this ball? <laughs> you want to play, don't you, Gaston? <laughs> Catch! Well done. Gaston's great at catching. <laughs> Here, boy, catch. <laughs> Gaston, are you all right? He's hurt his feeler. We'll have to take him back to the vet. <laughs> ben, have you packed your holiday bag? Yes, Dad. Good. So now there's nothing to stop us setting off. We can leave as soon as we get back from the vets. Back from the vets? Uh, but, but, but... Uh... Look after that leg. And that leg. And that leg. And that leg. And that leg. And... Mum, Gaston's hurt himself. Oh, dear. You better bring him straight in. I didn't expect to see you back so soon, Gaston. <coughs> it's a bit sore, isn't it? <coughs> I'll bandage it for you. And I'll sprinkle on a little fairy dust, just to make it heal quickly. There. Gaston scratching it. No, Gaston, you mustn't scratch it or it won't get better. I'll just pop on this plastic collar. Now he can't scratch it. <coughs> Sorry, Gaston. Here's another sticker for being so brave. <coughs> Be careful now. I don't want to see you back here again. <laughs> Mrs Elf, have you got the holiday tickets? Yes, here they are. Good. Throw them down to me. Oh, I'm not sure that's such a good idea, Mr Elf. You might not catch them. <laughs> I'll catch them. OK, if you're sure. You see, elves are great at catching, and I'm an elf. 
<laughs> Why has Gaston got that big collar on? Don't laugh, Dad. You'll upset Gaston. Sorry, Gaston. Here are the car keys. Shall I bring them down? <laughs> Just throw them to me, Mrs Elf. If you're sure. Gaston caught the keys. Gaston's great at catching, even with that collar on. Yes. Uh, well done, Gaston. Give me the car keys back now. <gasps> He's swallowed the keys. The keys are in Gaston's tummy. <gasps> But he's swallowed the car keys. We have to get them back. Holly, have you got your wand with you? Yes, Mr. L. Good. Use magic to turn Gaston inside out. <gasps> what? I'm not sure that's a very good idea. We'll have to take Gaston back to the vet. She can get the keys out. Come on, then. Quick! Hello, Gaston. I didn't expect to see you again so soon. What's the matter? He swallowed my car keys. Now, Gaston, let's have a look at you. Hmm, I see. Good, good. I have some very good news. Yes? Gaston's feeler is better. Eh? I can take Gaston's collar off. <laughs> Hooray! And here's a sticker for being a brave boy again. Uh, that's all really lovely and great and everything, but how do I get my car keys back? Ah, oh, that. OK, I'll see if I can find them. Let's take a look in the front end. Uh... Hmm, nothing here. Uh... Now the back end. Nothing here either. Now for the middle. I'll use the X-ray. Hold still. There they are. The keys. So how do we get them out? We let nature take its course. Let nature take its course? What does that mean? I think she means wait for him to poo it out. That's right. We all just have to follow him around for a bit. <laughs> Aha! Looks like Gaston might be about to, um, go. How disgusting. But at least we'll be getting the keys back. Oh, he only did a wee. Ah, the little darling. We just have to wait for him to go in his own time. In his own time? But we don't have any more time. We're going to be late for the holiday. Did you get the keys? Um, we have to wait for nature to take its course. What does that mean? It means we have to wait for Gaston to... <coughs> <coughs> Gaston's coughing. What's wrong with him now? <coughs> the keys! Mr Elf, you're a very lucky man. Yes. Well, Gaston, you certainly deserve another Brave Boy sticker. <coughs> <laughs> Soon, Gaston will have more stickers than spots. Gaston's been through a lot. He could do with somewhere warm and nice for a good rest. He can come on holiday with us. That would be perfect. I'm sorry, but I did say Gaston couldn't come. But that was before he'd been sick. Uh, he probably needs a pet's passport. I can give him one of those. It's settled then. Gaston can come on holiday with us. <laughs> Yay! Yay. Have a lovely holiday, Ben. Keep Gaston warm. Have you got food for him? And a cushion? Yes. Bye, Gaston. And remember, I don't want to see you again for a long, long time. <laughs> Good morning, Your Majesties. Good morning, Nanny Plum. Princess Holly would like to show you how well she is doing with her magic. Yes, I would. That's lovely, sweetie. She will now cast a spell for you. It's not magic jelly, is it? No, no. Not magic jelly. You can choose. What would you like best in the whole wide world? Could you make me something pretty? OK. Abracadabity-bobbity-boo! <laughs> It seems to be a box of burps, Your Majesty. Oh, that's disgusting. Sorry, Daddy. I think it's about time Holly had some proper magic lessons. Very good, Your Majesty. I'll just fetch my wand. No, Nanny Plum. 
I mean proper lessons at a proper school. School? Yes. Holly is old enough to go to Mrs Fig's magic school. Ooh, Mrs Fig's magic school. I went there when I was little. It sounds fun. Can my friends come as well? Of course. Violet, Rosie, Strawberry and Fleur can go to magic school too. Can Ben come along? Oh, remember Ben is an elf and elves don't like magic. Ben will most likely be at elf school today. Good morning, children. Good morning, wise old elf. This morning's lesson is called Why Elves Don't Do Magic. Who can tell me why elves don't do magic? Because we're elves. <coughs> yes, Ben, but can anyone tell me why we don't do magic? Because we're elves. <coughs> Yes, yes, I know. But why don't we? Is it because magic always leads to trouble? Yes, Jake. Magic always leads to trouble. This way, girls. And talking of trouble... Hello, wise old elf. Hi, Ben. Hi, Holly. We're going to magic school. Ooh, can we go to the magic school too, wise old elf? No, I forbid it. Oh, please, wise old elf. Please, please. Oh, very well. Today's lesson will be to see how magic <laughs> always leads to trouble. <laughs> this way to the magic school. Ah, magic school. I suppose it'll all be pink and fluffy and covered in glitter. That sounds nice. Here we are, Mrs Fig's magic school. Oh, what a sensible building. It could have been built by an elf. I know. It's a bit ugly, isn't it? It's very sensible. Now, girls and boys, you'll soon be meeting Mrs Fig. She taught me everything I know. Ooh. Mrs Fig liked me. I used to call her Old Figgy. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, children. Morning, morning Old Figgy. Figgy. My name is Mrs Fig. Fig. Morning, Mrs. Fig. That's better. Hello, Figgy. Remember me? Ah, Nanny Plum. How could I forget? I told you I was her best pupil. In all my years of teaching, Nanny Plum, I never had another pupil like you. Thank you. And I am the wise old elf. <coughs> Elves? At magic school? Yes. We're here to see the magic all go wrong. Nothing will go wrong at Mrs Fig's magic school. Now, who do we have here? I'm Princess Holly. Princess Holly, what do you and your little friends know about magic? Oh, I've taught them lots of things. Let's say you know nothing. What's the most important rule of magic? Don't do magic. Correct. What? But where's the fun in that? Magic is not meant to be fun. Oh, ho, ho. I like this lesson. Magic is only meant to be used for sensible things by sensible people. Now, pretend you are in the kitchen doing the washing up. Are you going to wash the dirty dishes using magic? Yes. Stop! That's just the sort of thing you can do by hand. What? That's just plain wrong. But if you come across a particularly stubborn stain on a saucepan, then perhaps you could... Use magic. Leave it to soak overnight. Why not just magic the whole lot clean and get on with something fun? I am the teacher, Nene Plum. Sorry. Figgy. And now for the magic lesson. Hooray! First, we have to warm up. Let's start with a little jog. No, not the jogging. Outside, chop chop. Run around, everyone. What does running have to do with magic? Nothing. It builds character. I don't need any more character, thank you. Are you all having fun? Yes! Right, stop! Jogging is not meant to be fun. 
Now, who would like to show me their favourite spell? Me! Anyone else? I can do a growing spell. Very good. Show us your growing spell, please. OK. Bappity boppity bow. Grow, grow, grow! Ah! Not me! She's just growing and growing. Stop it! Stop it! I know how to do growing, but not stopping. That's easy! Stop, Figgy, stop! And who taught you that growing spell? Me. I might have known. Well, it did work. You grew a lot. I know a spell to make things smaller. Wait, don't! Dibbly gobbly do. Small, small, small. Ah! 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 Mrs. Fig is still shrinking. Help! Help! She's getting teenier and teenier. She's never going to stop shrinking. Help! Help! Oh, I'd better grow her again. Figgy, figgy, fig. Back to big. How are you feeling? I am very, very, very angry. So, as you see, children, magic always leads to trouble. They were two very silly spells. Can anyone think of a useful spell? Magic jelly! Magic jelly? Yes, that's very useful. Well, I suppose magic jelly has its uses. Like at a children's party. Or a picnic. Or as a yummy pudding. OK, magic jelly. But let's get someone sensible to wave the wand. Me, me, me! me. I'll, I'll do it. it! Who is the most sensible person here? The wise old elf. The wise old elf shall wave the wand. Me? But I'm not a fairy. I don't do magic. Exactly. The perfect person. Oh, I don't think so. No, it wouldn't be right. Nonsense. We just need a bit of fairy dust. You are now magical. My body is all tingly. I don't like it. Don't worry. You won't be magical for very long. Just wave the wand and say... Jelly, jelly, but not a lot. Uh, jelly, jelly, but not a lot. <gasps> oh! oh, it worked. Can I turn Nanny Plum into a frog? Ha, I'd like to see you try. I say, this is fun. Oh, what happened? <laughs> Wise old elf, what are you doing? Having fun. Magic is not meant to be fun. What would happen if I asked for a lot of jelly? Try it and see. Jelly, 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 and lots of it. No, stop. We don't want a jelly flag. <laughs> Plum. It wasn't me. It was him. That's ridiculous. Elves don't do magic. Actually, Your Majesty, it was the wise old elf. Even old Figgy telling tales now. It's true. The wise old elf did it. Oh, dear. I believe I did do the spell. Fancy that. The wise old elf doing magic. <laughs> you have been naughty. Yes. And it just goes to show that magic always leads to trouble. Hi, Gaston. I'll be right down. Oh, you're blue. Have you got a cold or something? Hi, Ben. Hi, Gaston. <gasps> What's happened to Gaston? <coughs> Nanny, you can speak, Ladybird. What's Gaston saying? <coughs> oh. Oh, he's saying he's not Gaston. He's Gaston's brother, Tony. I didn't know Gaston had a brother. Me neither. <laughs> and Tony has come here with his family. This is Pam. <laughs> <laughs> 
And these are their children, Amber, Emerald and Keith. Ah, oh, look, they are so cute. <laughs> Hello, you lot. They've come to visit Gaston, but they're lost. We'll take you to Gaston. Come on, this way. <laughs> Gaston, your brother Tony has come to visit. <laughs> oh, look! <laughs> they love their uncle Gaston. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, dear. What? What is it? What are they saying? Well, they wrote Gaston a letter asking if he could look after their children for a day. Because he ate the letter. <laughs> yes, Gaston likes eating letters. So Gaston had no idea he was supposed to be looking after the little ones. <laughs> Don't worry, we'll help Gaston look after them. Yes, it'll be fun. <laughs> Bye! Nanny Plum! Oh, that's the king. What does he want? Nanny Plum! I can't find my glasses. Have you tried looking on your head? Oh, yes. Now, where's my crown? Nanny! Oh, I'll have to go. Have fun, you two, and Uncle Gaston. <laughs> <laughs> Keith's riding on Gaston's back. <laughs> now the other two want to go. <laughs> oh, Gaston looks a bit tired. Have a little rest, Gaston. We'll play with the baby ladybirds for a bit. Let's play fetch. OK, Amber, fetch! <laughs> <laughs> Emerald wants to go too. And Keith. <laughs> <laughs> They're very fast. Don't they ever get tired? <laughs> Hi, Ben. Hi, Holly. Oh, look. Baby ladybirds. Aren't they adorable? <laughs> They're called Amber, Emerald and Keith. And Gaston's their uncle. <laughs> They're a bit hyper. We know. They need a nap. When my little sister doesn't have a nap, she gets overtired. What happens then? She cries. <laughs> See what I mean? They can have a sleep in Gaston's cave. There you are, baby ladybirds. Now you can have a little rest. They don't seem very tired. Come on, lie down. Oh, they're not doing it. How can we get them to sleep? Hmm, to make my little sister sleepy, my mum reads her a storybook. Gaston's got storybooks. But looks like he's eaten them all. I've got lots of storybooks back home. Dee -dee -da -dum. Ah, lovely clean washing. Gaston, no! I'm not having muddy footprints all over my washing today, thank you. Ah! Hi, Nanny. We've brought the baby ladybirds over. Yes, I see. <sighs> Tired today, eh, Gaston? At least that means you won't be jumping up on me and licking my face. <laughs> ah! Goodness me! Baby ladybirds. Yes, Amber, Emerald and Keith. Well, well. So Gaston is a girl ladybird after all. No, Gaston's a boy ladybird. He's their uncle. He's looking after them for the day. Are they house trained? Nearly. Oh, adorable little puppy ladybirds. Can they stay, Mummy? 
I'm sorry, Holly, but it's of not... Of course they can. Yay! I'm going to read a storybook to make the baby ladybirds sleepy. Oh, but where are the baby ladybirds? They've gone! Sounds like they're upstairs. <gasps> they're in Daisy and Poppy's room. I'll go and get them. No, Ben. Daisy and Poppy can be a bit dangerous. I'll go. <laughs> <laughs> baby birds, baby birds. Daisy, Poppy, they're not your dollies. They're baby ladybirds. Baby birds. Ruff, 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 ruff. Here they are. Um, how many baby ladybirds are there? Three. Hmm, there seem to be four now. And one of them's wearing a crown. Oh, no! That's Mummy. They've turned her into a baby ladybird. Baby bird, baby bird. <laughs> Daisy, Poppy, it's very naughty to turn your mother into a ladybird. Oof! Thank you, darling. <coughs> oh, dear. It's all right, King Thistle. They're just getting overtired. Right. Where are your storybooks, Holly? In my bedroom. <laughs> they like Holly's bed. They've got so much energy. I love this storybook. No, Gaston. It's not for eating. <laughs> rock a -bye baby on the treetops. When the wind blows, the cradle will rock. When the bell breaks, the cradle will fall. And down will come baby, cradle and all. Down will come baby, cradle and all? That's not very nice. You're right. Um, what about this one? It's about ladybirds. Ladybird, ladybird, fly away home. Your house is on f... Oh, dear. This one's even more scary. How about this one? Once upon a time, there were three little pigs. Can't you make it more about ladybirds, Ben? OK. Once upon a time, there were three little ladybirds and they each built a little house. One was made of straw, one was made of sticks and one was made of bricks. What happened next? Well, one day, a big bad wolf came along to the straw house and he huffed and he puffed and he... Does the story have a happy ending? Um, let's see. Uh, no. I mean, let's just say the three little piggies, I mean, ladybirds, lived happily ever after. So the wolf didn't eat any of them? Not even one? No, no, no. Of course not. It was all happy. The end. Ben, look. They're all asleep. Oh, yes. We did it. What time are their mummy and daddy coming to collect them? Oh, I've just thought. Their mummy and daddy won't know where we are. <coughs> oh! Oh! What is it, Gaston? Oh. He's heard something. Oh. 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 Well done, Gaston. They found us. <laughs> oh, they've woken up already. <laughs> How come they've got so much energy again? Mm, it might be something to do with them having a little sleep. Yes, my little sister's always got tons of energy after she's had a nap. Oh! <laughs> they do love their Uncle Gaston. And Uncle Gaston loves them too. <laughs> with this telescope, I can see deep into space. Wise old elf, can I look? Yes. Right now, the telescope is pointed at the moon. Ooh, it looks really close. Can I have a go? Of course. If I turn the telescope this way, you can see distant stars. Amazing! Oh, one of the stars is moving. Maybe it's a shooting star. Ooh, I can see it too. <gasps> it's going to crash into the ground. Sounded close. Let's take a look. 
This is where the shooting star landed. It's made a huge hole. Incredible. Look at all the smoke. It must be very hot. Let's climb down and get a closer look. No, we'll have to come back tomorrow when it's cooled down. shooting star thingy look like? We're just about to find out, Your Majesty. Lower the claw! Ooh. It's got windows! Is it a spaceship? It's a flying saucer! <laughs> the top's opening! Don't panic yet, but this might be an alien invasion. Bleep, bloop! Ah! Alien invasion! Alien invasion! Everyone, please panic! Bleep, bloop, bleep, bleep. <laughs> it's the friendly aliens we met on the moon. Bleep, bloop, bleep. Hello, aliens. Bleep, bleep. Bloop, bloop. Bleep, bleep, bloop. Oh, look. They've got a baby alien. I am not baby. Whoops. Sorry, but you're so sweet and ickle. I am oldest one here. We get smaller as we get older. Oh, we get bigger as we get older. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Zyros. Take me to your leader. Uh, King Thistle is our leader. Ah, Thistle King. So, you are leader. Well, the wise old elf is also a leader. In a way. Oh, no, Your Majesty. You are our king and leader. Yes. We come in peace. Phew. We are here on holidays. Have you come far? We come from planet Bong. Ooh. But our spaceship is crashed. Oh, dear. You, Thistle King, must fix it. Me? Yes. As leader, you are clever and wise. Uh, yes. Of course I'm clever and wise. Hmm. <laughs> Doesn't sound good. It is broken. Maybe I should take a look, Your Majesty. Good idea. Elves are good at fixing flying saucers. And I'm an elf. <laughs> Let's see. Does the engine use clockwork or batteries? Oh. It's so colourful and pretty. It's a mass of pipes, tubes and incredibly complicated... <gasps> I don't need to know the little details. Just fix it. What a great and clever leader. Yes, we're very lucky. Hmm, this is going to take some time. Mr Zyros, while you're waiting, would you like a tour of the Little Kingdom? We would very much like that. Oh, goody. This way. First stop, Gaston's cave. Gaston, are you in? This is our friend, Gaston the ladybird. Ah, a ladybird. So that is the sound a ladybird makes. What did he say? He asked if Gaston is for eating. No, we don't eat our friends. Do you? Oh, no. Hardly ever. Next on the tour, the little castle, where I live. Mummy! Hello, darling. Oh! <laughs> it's OK, Mummy. They're just aliens from Planet Bong. Oh, that's all right, then. <laughs> no, you can't eat her. Thistle King, is this where you make your important decisions? Ah, uh, yes. Yes, I'm always making important decisions. Your Majesty, do you want soup or sausages for lunch? Hmm, I think sausages. You are very wise, Thistle King. Oh, well, 
You know, I do my best. And Elf, then, where do you live? I live in a tree. Tree? What is tree? Here it is, the great elf tree. Ah, I see. So a tree is a kind of apartment block. I am learning much about your planet. Hello, Ben. Ah, aliens! Yes, Dad. You remember the aliens we met on the moon? They're here on holiday. Oh, yes. Those aliens. Happy holiday! <coughs> no, he is not to be eaten either. Ah, this is such a wonderful planet. Have you been to other planets on holiday? Oh, yes, but this is best. You see, we are quite small, and on most planets, everyone is big. I see. Yes, we go to other planets for lovely, relaxing holiday and get stepped on by big people. It is not nice. Uh, there are some big people here too. Big people here? Hello! Uh -huh. Big people! Don't worry, it's only our friend Lucy. She's a big girl. Lucy, these are aliens. They're here on holiday. <laughs> Hello, aliens. You are big, aren't you? Are there more like you? There's my mum and dad. We're having a picnic over there. So, there are three big people on this planet. Oh, no! There's loads! Millions and millions! Most of them bigger than me! Hmm. Perhaps it is time for end of holiday. OK. Let's go and see if your flying saucer is mended. Ah, just in time. I've mended the flying saucer. Well done, wise old elf. All those tubes and things made it a bit like plumbing. And elves are good at plumbing. <laughs> I will now start the engine. Oh, that's not right. It sounds like a fairy car on a cold day, Daddy. Yes, it does. A bit of magic always helps start the fairy car. No, you must never mix magic and plumbing. Oh, nonsense. Sounds good. Thanks to me being an excellent plumber. Thanks to my magic fairy dust, you mean. Now, now, let's say elf skill mended the engine and fairy magic got it started. Hooray! Lucy! That's my dad. I'd better go. Mum, Dad, you'll never guess what I just saw. Don't tell me. Elves and fairies again. Yes, and aliens too. <laughs> Aliens. Oh, aliens. Of course, Lucy. We must leave now. Ben, Holly, would you like a little ride before we go? Yes, please. <laughs> Whee! Dear Lucy, everyone knows aliens don't exist. Hello, Lucy. Hi, Ben and Holly. The aliens have to fly back to their planet. They just wanted to say hello to your parents. Hello, big people. We have just been here on our holidays. Um, hello. We go now. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Uh, Bye. I think we'll have picnics somewhere else in future. <laughs> <Whee>! <laughs> Next time you go on holiday, you must come to Planet Bong. OK, we will. See you soon. Bye. Bye. Are you looking forward to your first day at Fox Cubs, Ben? Yes, Dad. I loved being a Fox Cub when I was your age. I've still got my hat. In my day, it was Old Grey Wolf in charge. They've got a new leader now. I wonder who it is. Welcome to Fox Cubs, everybody. I'm the new leader. Hello, Hello Nanny, Nanny Plum. Plum. Don't call me Nanny Plum. I'm Fluffy Owl, to wit to woo. Hello, Fluffy Owl, to wit to woo. <coughs> Hi, Holly. Hi, Ben. <coughs> Hello, Nanny Plum. What are you doing here? I'm the new Fox Cub leader. You have to call me Fluffy Owl, to wit to woo. Oh, hello, Fluffy Owl. 
You have to say the tawit tawoo bit as well. Tawit tawoo. You're just in time for the badges. Oh, is someone getting a badge? Ben, you're going to have so much fun getting your badges. Dad, what badges did you get when you were a fox cub? I got an adventure badge, a sailing badge and a knots badge. A knots badge? Yes. After days and days of tying knot after knot, I finally got my knots badge. It was hard work, but worth it. Who wants a badge? Me? Eh? Everyone step forward and tell me what badge you'd like. You first, Rosie. Can I have an adventure badge, please? One adventure badge. But, but... Can I have a sailing badge? Of course. One sailing badge. Strawberry, what would you like? A knots badge, please. Here you go. Stop it. Stop it at once. You don't just hand out badges. Why not? You have to earn your badges. To get my adventure badge, I had to spend three days camping in the wild. Well, I watched a whole night of TV for my watching TV badge. Watching TV badge? That's not what the fox cubs are about. The fox cubs are about having adventures in the wild. Adventures do sound like fun. We like adventures. Mr Elf, can we have an adventure in the wild? Well, it's not up to me. It's up to Fluffy Owl. Oh, very well. Follow me, everyone. OK, here we are, having an adventure. What do we do? Well, imagine we had to look for food. How do we find food here? Fluffy Owl, why don't you show the children how to find food in the wild? All right. This way, everyone. Now they'll see. It's not easy to find food in the wild. Hiya! We found food. Ice cream! Ice cream? Yes, from the ice cream van over there. But that's cheating! Look, you said find some food, so we did. Now you're changing the rules. We got you a raspberry ripple, Mr Elf. OK, moving on from finding food. Does anybody know how to make a shelter? Oh, me! Me! I brought my tent. Watch this. There we go. Ooh. It's got five bedrooms, a bathroom, a television and even a cellar. Oh, it's amazing. The best tent in the world. We can't sleep in that. Why not? What's wrong with being comfortable when you're on holiday? This is an adventure, not a holiday. We'll make a shelter out of two twigs and a leaf. You lean the twigs up like this and, hey, presto, what have you got? Two twigs and a leaf. Where's the bed? You sleep on the ground. It's nature's bed. Lovely and cosy. But why bother when you can sleep in my castle tent? You're missing the point. Do you fox cubs want a real adventure? Yes! Good. If you're going to learn how to survive in the wild, you have to be in the wild. Like, uh, at the top of a mountain. What? Fluffy Owl, please magic us to the top of a mountain. OK. Abracadabra. Wow, we're at the top of a real mountain. Fantastic. Now, how are we going to get home? Easy. I'll magic us home. Let's say you don't have your wand with you. OK, I'll call for help. No phone either. Hello, hello. But that's going to make it very, very difficult to get home. Exactly. But when you get home, you will have earned your adventure badge. So, what do we do first? Maybe we should start by working out which mountain we're on. Good, Ben. That's exactly what we should do. Fluffy Owl, which mountain did you magic us to? No idea. What? You just said a mountain. I don't know one mountain from another. Well, that makes things a bit tricky. Why? Because we don't even know what country we're in. Oh. Perhaps you should magic us back home and we'll start again. I can't. You threw my wand down the mountain. Oh, yes. Let's ring for help. But you threw Fluffy Owl's phone down the mountain too. Oh, yes. So I did. You wanted us to be lost. Now we're lost. Happy now? I'm 
sure Mr Elf wouldn't have sent us to the top of a mountain if he didn't know how to get us home. Thank you, Strawberry. OK, I think I can work out where we are by using my compass. Let's see. North is that way and the position of the sun is... Oh, my goodness! We're on Everest! What's that, then? Mount Everest! The tallest mountain in the whole world! Is Mount Everest far from home, Dad? A bit far from home, Ben, yes. And is it really very high? A bit high? Yes, Holly. I suppose we could just climb down. Just climb down? Just climb down Everest, the enormous, treacherous mountain of rock and ice, perilous cliff after perilous cliff that could only be conquered by the world's greatest mountaineers? So, Mount Everest is not safe for children to climb down? No, Mount Everest isn't child-friendly. So what do we do now, Mr Einstein? I don't know. Oh, if only we had my castle tent. <sighs> what good would that do? We could watch TV. Could the fairy fly for help? In that wind? You'd be blown away. No, what we need is someone who can climb down the mountain and fetch help. I know. Gaston is good at climbing. <coughs> good idea, Ben. Go, Gaston, go. Get help. <coughs> it may be some time before Gaston returns. After climbing down the mountain, he will have to journey through the jungle, cross the desert, swim the ocean before he arrives at the little kingdom. Hello, Gaston. <coughs> What's that? All the children and Fluffy Owl and Mr Elf all trapped at the top of a mountain, you say? <coughs> then this is a job for old Grey Wolf. Ow! Lead the way, Gaston. Is this mountain far? Still further? Oh, are we nearly there? So, quite a way then. Gaston's been gone for ages. I hope he's all right. Gaston! And he's brought Old Grey Wolf. Oh, I'm very pleased to see you, Old Grey Donkey. It's Old Grey Wolf, and you have to say, Awoo! OK, Awoo! What's your plan, Old Grey Wolf? Awoo! Have you brought the elf helicopter to lift us to safety? Or a team of mountain rescue elves to carry us down the mountain? Uh, actually, I set off in a bit of a hurry, and you were a bit further away than I expected. So, you're just here on your own without a plan of any sort? Uh, yes. That's about it. Maybe you should do a bit of a magic? I'd love to, but he threw my wand away. So that's why I found it at the bottom of the mountain. Oh, it's good to have you back again. So, if you wouldn't mind um, magicking us back home? No problemo. Hooray! That was a really good adventure. Thank you, Fluffy Owl. Twit twoo. Well, you should thank Mr Elf. It was his idea. Thank you, Mr Elf. Yes, Dad. It was great. Ho, ho. And I think all of you fox cubs have earned your adventure badges. Indeed. Adventure badges for everyone. Thank, Thank you, old grey wolf. Wow. And for fetching help in the fox cubs' hour of need, one of you has earned the rescue badge. Who is it? Gaston, of course. <laughs> Gaston to the rescue! Oh. <laughs> Aha! Nothing quite like sailing the high seas, eh, Nanny Plum? No, there's nothing quite as boring. Ha <laughs> ha! My little cherry blossom. I love it that you say what you mean. I don't like sailing in boats. They sink. Not my boat. It's unsinkable. Oops. What was that noise? I think we hit a rock. Ah! The boat is sinking. Never fear, Nanny Plum. I know just the people to call. Who's he calling? He's calling Elf Rescue. Elf Rescue? 
Elf Rescue. Hello, Redbeard here. My boat is sinking. I see you, Redbeard. Hang on, Elf Rescue are go. Calling all units to the lake. Redbeard's boat is sinking. Elf Rocket, A-OK. -okay. Elf Plane, A-OK. -okay. Elf Helicopter, A-OK. -okay. Elf Submarine, A-OK. -okay. Elf Rescue, are go We'll have you out of there in a jiffy. Mr. Elf, lower the claw. Lowering claw. <laughs> Hold on, I'm lifting you up. Hooray! Gosh, that was amazing. Would you like a cup of tea? Yes, please. Biscuit? Ooh, ginger snaps. My favourite. Thank you so much. Think nothing of it, Nanny Plum. It's all in a day's work for Elf Rescue. Thank you, Elf Rescue. Not at all. Whenever you need us, just call. Well, I'd better start fixing me boat. And we'd better go home. Oh, I'm too tired to walk. Shall we fly? That's even more tiring. It's not that far, Nanny Plum. I'd feel better about it if I had a biscuit. Maybe I'll call Elf Rescue. But, Nanny, I don't think Elf Rescue is really for giving people lifts home. Nonsense. The wise old elf said, whenever you need us, just call. Elf Rescue. Hello, Nanny Plum here. I'm stuck by the lake. Stuck, you say? Hang on, we'll be right there. Elf Rescue are go. What seems to be the problem? My legs are tired. Can I have a lift home? What? Nanny Plum, the Elf Rescue Service is for emergencies only. Keep your hair on. Can you give me a lift or not? Hmm, this is the way to travel. Tea, biscuits and a great view. Dad, can I have a go at flying? No, Ben. You're not a grown-up. It's not fair. Grown-ups have all the fun. We want to rescue people. You're just going to have to wait till you're older. Aww. Thank you, Elf Rescue. And don't waste our time again. Charming. The wise old elf is right, Nanny Plum. Elf Rescue is only for emergencies. Oh, whatever. Cool! You got rescued by Elf Rescue. I wish we could rescue people too. Yes! yes. It's just the silly grown-ups won't let us. <sighs> elf Rescue! Ah, oh, thank goodness. We need your help, Elf Rescue. What's the problem? A big cow is stuck in some brambles. Mm. We'll be right there. Calling all units. Cow stuck in brambles. A-OK! -okay. Lower the mole. Lowering mole. Launch mole. The mole can dig up the brambles. 
Don't worry, Mrs. Cow. We'll have you out of there in no time. Dum, la -di dum. Ah! Elf rescue. Help! Help me, Elf rescue! Nanny Palum, I told you, Elf rescue is for emergencies. This is an emergency. I'm stuck. Stuck with what? A tricky jigsaw? No, in the mud. Oh, Mr. Elf. You take over the cow rescue. I'll deal with Nanny Plum. Right o. I can't believe I got stuck in mud. What a day! Never mind. Elf Rescue will be here in a minute, and then it'll be tea and biscuits on the ride home. So you are stuck. Of course I'm stuck. What did you think? Can't you use magic to get yourself out? No, my wand's over there. I see. Where are Elf Rescue? Are there any biscuits left? We don't need a rocket to pull you out of a puddle, Nanny Plum. It's not a puddle. It's very deep mud. Yes, yes, yes. I'll just pull you out. Oh, it's very deep mud. Told you. No problem. I'll call Elf Rescue. Calling Elf Rescue. We're a bit busy right now. Please call back later. Are they coming? No. So what do we do now? Uh, shout for help. Help! 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 Listen, someone's shouting for help. Help! 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 They need rescuing. We can rescue them. We can be Children Rescue. Hooray! Children Rescue are go. Go, go, go! Ben, Holly! We're Children Rescue! Thank goodness you're here! Are you stuck? Yes! Launch Gaston! I'm going to throw this lasso around your waist! Keep still! OK! <laughs> What about me? Oh, no! We won't get to the wise old elf in time. I know. I can magic him out of the mud. Oh, yes. Good idea, Holly. No, no, no! No magic. I want to be rescued properly. That is properly. Magic is cheating. Please let me use magic or we won't be able to get you out. No magic. Please! No, 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 no. Magic, please. <laughs> ah! Hooray! Well done, Children Rescue. Hello. You rang us, wise old elf. What seems to be the trouble? Ah, uh, nothing. Panic over. Wise old elf, you should know better than to call out Elf Rescue for no reason. But... But it wasn't for no reason. Children Rescue had to rescue us from the mud. Oh! In that case, I think everyone deserves a lift home. Oh, goody. Biscuits. Oh, this is the way to travel. Got any more of those ginger snaps? Yes. Biscuits are go. Go, go, go! <laughs> <laughs> Today's adventure starts at Gaston's house. Gaston is lost. <laughs> Gaston, are you in? Do you want to play? <laughs> Here, Gaston, fetch the stick. <laughs> Gaston's taking a while. Yes. Where is he? Princess Holly! Home time! Oh, that's Nanny Plum. Ben! Home time! A 
And that's my mum. Bye, everyone. See you tomorrow. Bye. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Let's play with Gaston. Yes. yes. Gaston? It's empty. Where is Gaston? Gaston! Gaston! Good morning, children. Has anyone seen Gaston today? No! Has anyone seen Gaston? No! no. Has anyone seen the ladybug? No. no! Gaston is lost! Nanny! 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 Have you seen Gaston? Gaston? No. Come to think of it, I haven't seen him at all today. He usually comes in for his breakfast first thing in the morning, but he hasn't touched his food. Gaston is lost. Don't worry, Holly. We can find Gaston by looking in a crystal ball. Let's use this one. It's a snow globe. With a little Eiffel Tower inside. Yes, pretty, isn't it? There you go. Paris in the snow. It's almost like you're there. But how can a snow globe find Gaston? Ah, that's where we need a little magic. The snow is clearing. Ooh. That's Gaston's house. There's Gaston. The crystal ball is showing us what Gaston did yesterday. And then we can work out where he is. Very clever, Nanny. Not just a pretty face, eh? Where's he going? That's me, feeding Gaston yesterday. Good morning, Gaston. Here's your breakfast. <laughs> Hungry boy. Where would you be without me to feed you? Now where's he going? He's at the fairy village. Morning, Gaston. That's my mum. Here's your breakfast. <laughs> He's had two breakfasts. I thought it was just me who fed him. Bye, Gaston. <coughs> He's off again. He's at the great elf tree. And that's the wise old elf. Ah, Gaston, I haven't forgotten you. Here's your breakfast. <coughs> I don't believe it. That's another breakfast. Oh, Gaston's off again. He can't eat any more breakfasts. Look, he's at the playgroup. And that's Mrs Fotheringill. Here's your porridge, Susan. Susan? Good girl, Susan. By my reckoning, that's four breakfasts. I think Gaston needs lots of food because he does lots of running about. <sighs> Surprised after all that eating. <laughs> Look, it's us. Yes, we played with Gaston yesterday. Gaston, are you in? <laughs> Do you want to play? <laughs> Here, Gaston, fetch the stick. We know this bit. Can you skip past it? OK, I'll fast forward. <laughs> Gaston has vanished. Let's watch that again. Stop! There he is. Forward a bit. Oh, he's disappeared. Back a bit. Forward. Gone. He jumps behind those clovers and disappears. So that's where he must be. Come on, we have to find him. Let's get the others to help. Why is old elf? Why is old elf? Gaston needs rescuing. You found him? Not exactly, but we know where he was before he disappeared. This is where Gaston was last seen. And then he vanished behind some clovers. Which clovers? There are lots here. We'll have to search all of them. Gaston? Gaston! Where are you, Gaston? This is crazy. How can anyone just disappear into thin air? <laughs> oh, where's my mum gone? Help! Help! Mum, where are you? Here! Uh, I can't see you. Are you invisible? No, look down. Gosh, a hole in the 
the ground. I can't see a thing. Wand, give me light. It's a huge cave. Ooh. Ooh. It's full of sparkly diamonds and gems. Ah, looks like we've found a bit of the old dwarf mine. Yes, the little kingdom is riddled with dwarf tunnels. Those dwarfs certainly like to dig. Help! Help! Mum! Hello, everyone! I found Gaston! <laughs> Gaston! Come on, everyone. We've got a ladybird to rescue. Uh, what about me? Oh, yes. Sorry, Mum. I forgot about you. Charming! Let's climb down! It's a good thing I brought the elf rescue rope. Here we come! Whee! <laughs> Whee! <laughs> Gaston! <laughs> Gaston must be so hungry! <laughs> I can hear voices! Someone's coming! Hide, everyone! In our dwarf mine, oh so old We dig for diamonds, we dig for gold <gasps> It's the dwarves! Dinner time! <laughs> Good boy! <laughs> when you finish that, there's pudding! I don't believe it! Gaston's only been here a day and he's already got people feeding him! Right, lads! Back to work! Dig, dig, dig! Dig, dig, dig! Lucky the dwarves didn't spot us. They don't like strangers in their minds. Yes, that's why I took the precaution of hiding the elf rope. If the dwarves had seen the rope hanging from the top of the cave, they would have known someone was in here. I'm not called the wise one for nothing. Um, but if the rope's down here, how are we going to climb out? Don't worry. The wise one will have thought of that. He'll have a brilliant plan. Ah, oh, uh, it, this is a bit embarrassing. I, uh, uh, uh... So, the wise one pulled the rope down but forgot that we need to climb up it to get out. Yes, that's about it. No worries, we'll just fly out. But, but us elves can't fly. Oh, OK. I'll magic the rope to the top. Ooh. Come on, everyone. Let's go. Wise old elf, aren't you climbing up? I am not climbing up a magic rope. See yourself. You can live down there forever. OK, OK. I'll climb up the magic rope. Hello, everyone. Oh, hello, Mrs. Fotheringill. What are you doing here? I came as quick as I could when I heard Susan was in trouble. Susan? Who's Susan? Susan the Ladybug. <coughs> oh, there you are. <laughs> That's Gaston. <coughs> he won't answer if you call him Susan. Susan, I've brought you something to eat. <coughs> Poor Susan. Who would look after you if I didn't? Hmm? I've got a feeling Susan would manage just fine. Uh. <laughs> ben and Holly's Christmas. Episode 2. It is Christmas Eve and everything has gone a bit wrong. Queen Thistle wrapped in a Christmas present. King Zissel trapped in a Christmas cracker. I'm the king! Get me out of here! And the wise old elf is stuck in a Christmas tree. Up for sale in a shop. How undignified. And there's big people everywhere. Wow! Look at all those big people. Shh! We must keep quiet. No problem. Pied elves are good at keeping quiet. And we're Pied Elves! <laughs> ah, shh! 
stay hidden. Nanny, lots of the grown-ups seem to be missing. King Thistle, Queen Thistle, all the Pine Elves. And the wise old elf. Yes, it's not good. <coughs> Hello? It's me, the wise old elf. Why are you whispering? Listen carefully. It's Christmas Eve, and tonight Father Christmas will be delivering presents to the children of the world. It's my job to track him. Every year, I follow Father Christmas's journey and make sure he is okay. But this time, I seem to be a bit, um, stuck. So, someone else is going to have to do the tracking. Someone responsible. Me! I'll do it! Me! Me! Okay, Danny Plum, but don't mess it up. Ah! <gasps> Big people! Walking this way! I'm really looking forward to a quiet family Christmas with no talk of fairies and elves. Okay, Dad. Ooh, I like this Christmas tree. Yes, Lucy. Let's get that one. And we'll need some Christmas crackers. Oof! Let me out of this Christmas cracker! Let me out! Oh, no! Where to now? So, where exactly is this top-secret Elf Command tracking centre? In the Great Elf Tree. Listen up, everyone. The wise old elf can't be here, so he's put me in charge. Right, Hall. What do these buttons do? Ah! Don't touch anything. It's all automatic. Oof. This screen shows the world, and this flashing dot shows where Father Christmas is. He's at the North Pole. That's right, Holly. He's just about to set off. Ho, ho, ho! Good. That's all the presents packed. Let me out! I'm the Queen! Let me out! What was that tiny squeaky noise? Oh, well, time to go, I think. Ho, ho, ho! Away we go! Look, Father Christmas is moving. He has to deliver presents to all the children. All the children? Even our friend Lucy? Yes. I wonder what Lucy is doing now. Bear, don't the decorations look pretty? Let's put the Christmas crackers on. Whoa! I wonder what's inside. <laughs> It will look nice here. Time to switch on the lights. Ooh! What's that flashing light? <gasps> Is that you, wise old elf? Oh, hello, Lucy. And hello, Lucy's mum. Nice to see you both again. But, wise old elf, what are you doing in our Christmas tree? It's a bit of a long story. You see, pine elves live in pine trees. And then they... Pine elves? What are pine elves? We're pine elves! <laughs> oh, my goodness! Cool! We've got pine elves in our Christmas tree. That's lovely, but it's probably best if you all stay hidden. Lucy's dad gets a bit nervous around little people. Did someone say little people? Um, eh... Uh... I'm really looking forward to a normal family Christmas with just us three and no talk of little people. Of course, darling. Anyway, it's getting late. Time for your bed, Lucy. Father Christmas won't come unless you're sleeping. OK. <laughs> night, night, Lucy. Night, night. I wonder where Father Christmas is now. Father Christmas has delivered presents to just about every child in the world. Good. Once he's delivered the last one, we can all get some sleep. Look, Father Christmas is almost at Lucy's house. One last present to deliver. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oof. <sighs> that chair looks comfy. I'll just have a little sit down. <sighs> I mustn't fall asleep, but I'll just close my eyes for a moment. 
The dots have stopped moving. Father Christmas hasn't left Lucy's house. He's fallen asleep. We'll have to go and wake him up. Come on, everyone, to the elf helicopter. I only hope we can get there before Father Christmas is discovered. Look, Mummy, a present. We'd like to wish you all a very Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas! <laughs> Merry Christmas! Lucy! That's Dad. I don't think your dad could take all this. Everyone hide, quickly! Hide? Who has to hide? Um, um, Merry Christmas, darling. Let's pull a cracker. Oof! Let me out! Now, let's have a nice, normal Christmas. No weird, magical stuff. Oh, oof! At last! I'm out of that cracker! What? What is that? It's King Thistle. He's our friend from the Little Kingdom, Dad. Ah! Magical weirdness! It's happening again! Hello, Lucy's dad. Um, hello. Allow me the honour of reading you the cracker joke. What's at the North Pole and has two humps? Hmm. A lost camel. <laughs> Good, isn't it? Yeah. I wrote it myself. Uh, Lucy, you haven't opened your present. Oh, yes. <laughs> wow, a tiny fairy castle. Hello, Lucy. Queen Thistle, what are you doing in there? Um, it's a bit complicated, but basically this isn't a toy. It's the real little castle shrunk down. Are you OK? I'll be fine once I'm my own size again. Um, are there any more of you, uh, fairies around here? What's that noise? Ah! Hello, Lucy's dad. Um, hello. Daddy! Mummy! Hello! <laughs> hello, everybody. Um, is that all of you now? Uh, there are the Pine Elves, too. Pine Elves? What are they? We're Pine Elves! They live in our Christmas tree. Pine Elves! Yes, of course. Why didn't I think of that? My goodness, it looks like just about everyone from the Little Kingdom is here. Hello. Um, hello. We heard the Christmas party was around your place this year. We're gnomes, by the way. <laughs> um, it seems we have gnomes as well. Yes, aren't you the lucky ones? <gasps> ah! Hello, big people. Happy Christmas from Planet Bung. Aliens, elves, fairies, gnomes. All we need now is Father Christmas. Uh, ho, ho, ho! Wow! Father Christmas in our house! Ho, ho, ho! What? But who? But how? What my husband's trying to say is, please join us for lunch. Hooray! <laughs> Merry Christmas, Daddy. <sighs> Merry Christmas, Lucy. Merry Christmas, everyone. Big and little. <laughs> Isn't it lovely having a picnic in the Little Kingdom? What's the Little Kingdom? You know, Daddy, where our friends, the fairies and elves, live. Now, Lucy, we've talked about this. Fairies and elves don't exist. But they do, Daddy. Yes, darling. You've met them yourself. <laughs> it's a charming idea, and I've joined in the game before, but let's not be silly. That's like saying talking animals exist. <laughs> Hi, Lucy. Ah, the talking animal. It's me, Ben Elf. Oh, hello, Ben. Why are you a rabbit? Holly magicked me into one by accident. <laughs> <laughs> ah! uh, was that a talking animal? Help, help. Rex, come back. <laughs> Rex, no, naughty dog. <laughs> Hello, Lucy. Oh, hello, Holly. Have you seen a talking rabbit 
anywhere. Yes, he was here just now. <laughs> here I am. Naughty Ben. When we magic you into things, you shouldn't run away. Can you change me back? Of course. <laughs> Phew, that's better. Now let's play a sensible game. Let's play catch. To you, Ben. <laughs> <laughs> to you, Violet. <laughs> I wish I could play in your games, but I'm too big. No problem. I can just shrink you down. <laughs> Whoa! Wow, I'm tiny. <laughs> You're one of the little people now, Lucy. Will I be like this forever? No, only till the morning. You'll be big again tomorrow. Can you make Rex a little too? <laughs> now you can do all the things we do. Ooh, can I go for a ride on Gaston? <laughs> OK. Hold on to his feelers. Push forward to start. Whoa! And then pull back to fly. Whee! <laughs> Don't pull too far back. You'll lose the loop. Whoa! <laughs> that was really fun. Can I visit your houses? Of course. Would you like to see inside the great elf tree? Or the little castle? Or come to my house? Where is your house, Strawberry? Me and Violet live in the fairy village. Ooh, I'd love to see the fairy village. OK, follow me. <laughs> <laughs> Here we are, the fairy village. Wow, do you all live inside toadstools? Yes, we used to live inside mushrooms, but the big people kept picking them. No one eats toadstools. <laughs> <laughs> but there's no door to get in. Yes, there is. It's a magic door. You have to tap three times and spin around and say, Open Sesame. <laughs> See? Hello, everyone. Hello. Hello, Daddy. My dad's the fairy mayor. Yes, and you're here just in time for the meeting. What meeting? Emergency meeting! Emergency meeting! As your mayor, I have called an emergency meeting because there are big people in the meadow. <laughs> Two grown-ups, one little girl and a dog having a picnic. Now, as you all know, the big people are dangerous. I'll say they stepped on my granddad. And they ate my house. So we must be very careful. And if anyone sees any big people, sound the alarm! <laughs> I've seen a big person. What? Where? Who? Me. I'm a big person. Ah! A big person! Sound the alarm! Ah! Big person! Oh! Don't they like me? Don't worry, Lucy. It's not your fault you're a big person. You're a little person now anyway. Lucy is our friend. Yes, look at her feet. They're far too small to step on anyone. Yes, she does seem a bit small for a big person. Holly shrunk me down. Oh, I see. But Lucy is our friend, whether she is big or small. In that case, we are forgetting our manners. Lucy, would you like to join us for lunch as our special guest? Lunch? Sorry, I just remembered. I'm having a picnic with Mum and Dad. We'll take you back. Come on. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. It's true, darling. There really are elves and fairies. And talking rabbits? Well, that's a new one on me, but obviously there are. No, I can't believe it. We must have imagined it all. Hi, Mum. Hi, Dad. Ah! Lucy? Yes. Holly shrunk me down to be a little person today. Oh, that's nice, isn't it, darling? Mm. Don't worry, she won't be little forever. Just until the morning. I know. You could stay for a sleepover tonight. Oh, wow. Could I? Of course. There's lots of room in the little castle. That would be brilliant. Can I? Uh, I think that would be fine. Have a nice time. Great. Bye, Mum and Dad. See you in the morning. <laughs> mm. Talking rabbits, elves... Fairies, shrunken daughter. Come on, darling. Let's get you home. Yeah. 
Nanny, say hello to Lucy. Lucy? Who's Lucy? You know Lucy. Do I? She's normally a bit bigger. Oh, Lucy the big person. Hello. Normally a lot bigger, I'd say. I shrank her down. Lucy has come to join us for a sleepover. Well, what will happen when she grows big in the morning? The castle will explode. Don't worry. We'll make sure Lucy is out of the castle before the morning. All right, then. And Gaston and Rex can sleep in the kitchen. <coughs> what? <coughs> oh, all right, then. <coughs> as long as they don't leave any muddy footprints. Oh! <coughs> this is my bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> we can have a midnight feast. Yes, you have to have a midnight feast at a sleepover. It's the law. <laughs> Gosh, I'm tired. Me too. And me. <sighs> is it midnight yet? No. <sighs> midnight is still hours away. But I'm so sleepy. <sighs> <sighs> We've got to stay up until midnight, or it's not a real midnight feast. My goodness! Rex, what are you doing here? It's morning. You could grow big again any second. <laughs> Out! Out! Quickly! You're starting to grow! Ah! Ow, you go! Just in time! That could have been disastrous! <sighs> What's all the noise about? You woke us up! Holly, where's Lucy? Shh! She's still asleep! What? Well, wake her up! And get her out of the castle! Quickly! Before she gets big! Oh, yes! We forgot! Lucy! Lucy! Wake up! What's happening? You're growing! Whoa! Let's get out of here! Too late. Gosh, what a funny way to wake up. Lucy, are you all right? I'm fine, thank you. Morning, all. Is Lucy around? Uh, yes. I just wanted to say sorry. Big people aren't all about smashing our houses and stepping on us. Ow! Oops, sorry, Mr Mayor. I didn't mean to step on you. That's quite all right. I couldn't have been stepped on by a nicer person. Um, how am I going to get out of the castle? Oh, a bit of magic will fix that. Phew. Thanks, Nanny Plum. Lucy, home time. That's my mum. I've got to go now. Thanks for the great time. Yes, it was fun. Next time we'll come to your place. Ooh, that would be great. Bye. 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 There you are. Hi, Lucy. Did you have a nice time? It was the best sleepover ever, wasn't it, Rex? <laughs> <laughs> Keep up, children. We don't want to be late for your magic test. Nanny Plum, why do we have to take a magic test? All fairies take a magic test. It's how you get your magic licence. This is mine. Ooh, will ours look like that? No, this is a grown-up licence. You'll be getting a children's licence. Who gives us the magic test? The elves do. But elves don't like magic. No, but we do make the wands. <laughs> <laughs> and elves do like tests. Good morning, everyone. Have you come for your magic test? Yes, yes Mrs. Mrs Elf. Until the test is finished, I am not Mrs Elf. I am Mrs Examiner. Yes, Mrs Examiner. Lift up these pebbles, please. Move them forwards. This is hard. Yes. Now backwards. When I clap my hands, stop. 
Excellent. And finally, one simple question. Magic must only be used for serious things or just for fun? Um, uh, is the answer. Magic must only be used for serious things. Correct. You've all passed the magic test. Hooray! And I'm Mrs Elf again. You may now hug me. <laughs> <laughs> Well done, everyone. Here are your licenses, signed by me, the Chief Examiner. I knew they'd pass because I taught them. That makes their success even more amazing. Thank you, wise old elf. Perhaps we should have a little celebration. Oh, yes. Can we have a party? And what every party needs is magic jelly. Uh, Nanny, I don't think that's such magic a... Magic jelly. Lots and lots. Mr. Daisy, used a bit too much magic there. Nanny Palum, do you even have a magic licence? Of course I do. Oh, dear. It's expired. What does that mean? It means... It's worthless. Can't I do magic, then? No, it's against the law. No grown-up fairy can do magic without a licence. What? I'm taking away your wand. You can't do that. I just did. It's an outrage. The king will be very angry. <laughs> it's not funny. You're right. It's not funny. <laughs> <laughs> Nanny does not have a license. She must not do magic. Yes, yes, wise old elf. But maybe we can overlook it just this once, as it's Nanny. It's because it is Nanny we shouldn't overlook it. She's dangerous. Wise old elf, I am your king and I must... Yes? Is your license up to date, Your Majesty? My license? Well, I'm sure. I mean, I... I, I Maybe I should take a look. Uh, no need for that. The wise old elf is right, Nanny Plum. Rules are rules. What? So I can never do magic again? Of course you can. Uh, can she? She will have to go back to magic school first. Magic school? Yes, Mrs Fig's magic school. Oh. My name is Mrs Fig. You remember me, don't you? How could I forget? In all my years of teaching, I never had another pupil like you. Thank you. I was her best pupil. The wise old elf has taken away Nanny Plum's wand. Very sensible. And he has sent her back to your magic school. What? Yes, I'm back, you lucky old thing. Good luck, Nanny. Oh, I'm the one that'll need the luck. The first thing to know about magic is magic always leads to trouble. So, for our first lesson, you will not have a real wand. You will have this stick. And what does it do? Nothing. Oh, why can't I have a real wand? You need to learn how to use magic sensibly. But I use magic for lots of sensible things. Like ironing the king's underpants or dusting the fridge or polishing the carpet or... Miss Plum, I am the teacher. If you want to pass your magic test, I suggest you start listening to me. Let's see how you hold your wand. No, 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 all wrong. You're making magic, not stirring soup. Is that better? It'll do for the moment. Now, a few questions. Can't we do a spell instead? How do you stop a squirrel nesting on your roof? Uh, turn them into a frog. How do you get a mouse out of your kitchen? Uh, turn them into a frog. How do you rescue an elf who is stuck up a tree? Oh, I know this one. Turn them into a frog. Is that your answer to everything, Nanny Plum? Turn them into a frog? Yes. Oh, dearie me. This is going to be a long day. How was your lesson today, Nanny? Really good. I got a couple of things wrong at the start, but I got better and better all day. That's great. I'm all ready for my test tomorrow. Ask me any question you like. OK. 
How do you stop a mole from digging up your lawn? Turn them into a frog. Uh, no. That's not the answer in the book. Are you sure? Maybe you're reading it wrong. I don't think so. Oh, I find the answer to most things is turn them into a frog. Nanny, don't keep saying turn them into a frog. That will never be the answer. Oh, all right. I'll try and remember that. Morning, Nanny Plum. Have you come to take your magic test? Yes, Mrs Elf. Until the test is finished, I am not Mrs Elf. I am Mrs Examiner. Right you are, Mrs Elf. I'll take this one. Yes, Mr Chief Examiner. But that's not fair. I thought I was going to have Mrs Elf. Quiet, please. The test has begun. Here is your wand back. Oh, nice to see you again. Please lift this rock up in the air. But it's really big. I know. Can't I use a pebble? The pebbles are for the children's test. Why can't I take the children's test? Because you're a grown-up, or you're supposed to be. Ugh, all right. <laughs> there. Mm-hmm. Now forwards, please. Ah! <gasps> Whose rock is that? It belongs to the wise old elf. Just be careful. OK. Reverse, please. <laughs> Slowly. Ah! What's happened to my castle? The wise old elf told me to do it. Sorry, Your Majesty. Now forwards again. And when I clap my hands, you must stop. No problemo. Stop. Stop! 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 <gasps> Whew. Oh, bring the rock back here. <laughs> now, I want you to magic this rock into something else. A frog? No. I can do frogs. An egg. What do you want an egg for? Oh, just do it, please. All right. Keep your hair on. <laughs> I said an egg, not a chicken. There, one egg. Did I pass? The practical test is over, but you still have to answer one question. How would you help a tadpole become a grown-up? Uh, to help a tadpole become a grown-up? Um, uh... Nanny, what's your favourite spell? Turn them into a frog? Correct. I knew it! The test is over, and it's bad news. Did I fail? It's worse than that. You passed. Hooray! You may now do magic again. Did you hear that wand? We're back in business. Oh, dear. Magic always leads to trouble. No, it doesn't. Show me one piece of sensible magic. OK. There's one piece of magic I've been wanting to do all day. What's that? Turn you into a frog. You can't do that. Oh, yes, I can. Here's my licence. Oh, dear. Frog time! <laughs> like I said, magic always leads to trouble. Hello, Mrs Fig. Lovely autumn day, isn't it? Um, yes, wise old elf. Only problem is, the apples are starting to fall. Wow, that was close. So far, I've been lucky. They've all missed my magic school. That one didn't miss. Oh, dear. My poor magic school. Broken. Well, you're a fairy. Can't you just mend it with magic? No. Magic always leads to trouble. You don't like magic, do you, Mrs Fig? That's right, Holly. I want to mend the school the normal, sensible, safe way by using a builder. Well, you're in luck. I'm a builder, but it won't be cheap. We're going to need bricks, cement, roof tiles. I know. We'll have a cake stall. The money we make from selling cakes will pay for the repairs. A cake stall? It sounds fun. Let's tell everyone to get baking. Daddy! Daddy! An apple for...
fell on Mrs Fig's magic school. And now the school has a big hole in it. Oh, dear. That's a shame. Mrs Fig is asking everybody to bake cakes to raise money. Bake cakes? Uh, well, don't tell your mother about that. About what, darling? Mrs Fig is running a cake stall. Oh, how exciting. I'll bake some cakes. R really? There's no need. Mrs Fig needs them today. Then I'd better start straight away. Oh, no. What is it, Daddy? Your mother is not very good at baking cakes. Oh. She bakes horrible cakes and she gets very upset if anyone doesn't like them. dum de dum de dee dee doo that's odd. Who's in my kitchen? <gasps> the Queen! Baking cakes! Yes, Nanny Plum. Would you like to try a cake? Maybe later. Cakes! Cakes! The Queen's baking cakes! I know! We'll have to leave the country. Pack a bag, everyone. The Queen's cakes can't be that bad. They're worse than bad. They're... Cake time! Who wants to try my lovely cakes? Uh, um, um, uh, I've got rock cakes, fudge cake and gingerbread. They look lovely. In fact, they look too good to eat. You don't want to eat them, do you? You think they're horrid. No, no, no. I can't wait to try them. Have a rock cake. Ow! Did you just say ow? No, I said ow. Oh. Is it nice? It's inedible. I, I mean, incredible. But maybe I'll save it for later. Try the fudge cake. Ah, uh, isn't it someone else's turn? Don't you want my fudge cake? Of course I do. What do you think? <coughs> Tasty? <coughs> Are you all right, Daddy? <coughs> What's he saying? I'm saying... <coughs> I think his mouth is stuck shut. Oh, that was horrific. You think the fudge cake is too sticky, don't you? You hate it. No, no, of course not, darling. It's uh, amazing. Oh, good. Try the gingerbread. Dunk it in your coffee. That will make it all soft and yummy. Um, the coffee's just rolled off it. It's completely dry. Take a bite. You know, maybe I'll save this one for later, too. OK. Well, I can't stand around chatting. I've got loads more cakes to bake. Rock-hard rock cakes, super sticky fudge, waterproof gingerbread. We'll have to warn the whole of the little kingdom. The Queen's baking cakes! <laughs> Queen's baking cakes! Oh, no! I can't eat one of those cakes again. No one can eat them and survive. Hello! Cake time, everyone! Uh, yes, but you shouldn't have troubled yourself, Your Majesty. We already have lots of cake. You don't want my cakes? Oh, yes, we do. You think they're horrible, don't you? Of course we don't. Oh, Good, then. I'll put them here. That should raise lots of money to mend your school, Mrs Fig. Thank you, Your Majesty. Maybe I should have used magic to mend the school. It would have been less dangerous. Keep clear of the cakes. No one eat them. Ooh, cakes. Wait! Yow! What kind of a cake is that? It's a rock cake. Queen Thistle baked it. Oh, the Queen baking again. The fudge cake glues your mouth shut. And the gingerbread is waterproof. Incredible. What can these things be made of? I want to do some tests on these cakes. This machine tests how strong things are. Let's start with something very weak, like this egg. The egg had a strength of one. Now let's try a brick. The brick had a strength of five. Now let's try the Queen's rock cake. 
That cake is the strongest substance known to man. The fudge cake stuck Daddy's mouth shut. Hmm. Let's test how sticky it really is. Stop, wise old elf. Don't touch the fudge cake. You'll be stuck to it forever. OK. Let's just say the Queen has created the stickiest substance known to man. What about the gingerbread? Daddy dipped it in his coffee and it stayed dry. Let's see how waterproof it is. Amazing! The most waterproof substance known to man. These cakes must be locked away. They must never be eaten. Not eaten, no. But maybe they can be used for something else. I do hope I've made enough cakes. What if they need more for the cake stall? Trust me, they won't want any more cake. More cake, please. Really? Yes, as many as you can bake. And fudge cake. And gingerbread. Oh, goody. They love my cakes. I'd better get baking. Who's eating all these cakes? Eating them? No one's eating them. So why do you want more? These cakes are the perfect building material. The rock cakes are super strong bricks. We're gluing them together using the super sticky fudge cake. And then the super waterproof gingerbread makes great roof tiles. Amazing! But of course, you must never tell the Queen. Never tell the Queen what? Uh... Oh, Mrs Fig, you've mended the school, so you managed to raise enough money by selling my cakes. Um, let's just say your cakes were a great help. Yes, three cheers for Queen Thistle. Hip, hip, hooray! hooray! Hip, hip, hooray! hooray! Hip, hip! Hang on. These bricks look just like my rock cakes. Uh, yes. And this cement is just like my fudge cake. It is my fudge cake. Oh, no! At least she hasn't spotted the roof. And the roof tiles are my gingerbread. You didn't want to eat my cakes. Well, they're not really for eating, are they, darling? Not if you want to survive. I thought everybody liked my cakes, but nobody did. I wish I'd never baked a single cake. <laughs> but, Mummy, if we hadn't baked any cakes, we wouldn't have mended the school. Holly is right. It's only because of your baking the magic school is fixed. I suppose that's true. Hooray for Queen Thistle! Hooray! In fact, we could do with some cakes to finish the chimney, if you don't mind baking some more. Could you make some bricks for Mummy? house? I want to build a patio. Do you do paving slabs? Well, I suppose I could. Do you do drain pipes? Do you do MDF? Everyone loves my mummy's cake. 